Hello and welcome to the Three Times Faster podcast. I'm Matt Slevin. I'm here with Max and separated Hello. Miles. Uh, so we all banded together and wanted to make a, a fun podcast of all about media that's going on, video games, just everything that gets everyone excited. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's that's it. We will just want, to, and we just want to hang out and chill out with you guys, and just voice our opinions a little bit of stuff. So, let's Wait, get into the have, first I'm, topic. I'll, oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Ooh, <laughs> I know, I know you are. You're gonna hold to hold your tongue for a little bit sometimes. Let's talk about because obviously the time we're recording this, the big React elephant in the room. Let's talk about. The you can't say that word. Oh shit! Oh. I mean the. <laughs> oh, this was gonna be assimilated. <laughs> So it was a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? I'm surprised that they didn't like edit that or not edit it, but like have someone proofread it. Like, because everyone came out of that negative. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. So it was like, we're going to just look at reacts. And I don't understand why, like, they made a big deal out of it. This is going to be mm. game changing. The media is going to be completely different from now on i'm just like you just you're just making a, a network it's like many th yeah. many things do that even, it's not even that you know you can't i can't remember if it's trademark or copyright but it's kind of like max you're saying like about proofreading you can't really just cause like it's got to be a proofread you, you've got to go through the copyright you've got to go through the trademark you've got to put what it is you're doing what you're what you're registering so it's not like, oh, well, we're going to just register this and try and get away with it. They, they, they must have knew what they were doing. Oh, not the you know, trademark. It's, a le it's, like, it's mean, like a legal binding thing. It's I mean, the way they binding. worded it in the first video, where it's like, um, we're going to take your money off you because we have this brand that you're using <laughs> yeah, instead yeah. of your own brand. <laughs> but didn't they say they weren't going to do that, though? No, if you read the description they said is like we will take 60 percent of your ad revenue or something like is that. Is it really that high i didn't it's know so, it's like 60 I, 50 something like fucking that. hell that's so much that's that's like you know you might want why bother doing video it, even it, you have like a really good video it's like they take 50 percent of it it's like it's like youtube takes like it already of youtube yeah, is exactly. like is it 45 percent when you like do youtube yeah that, that's you if you have a really low like, yeah, I mean, like deal, it, it differs yeah. from network to network, but like YouTube's like forty-five percent, six like isn't five brothers, uh, but it's network. like so if it's you like, like, will be ad revenue for you, YouTube will be ad revenue for you, yeah. whatever network it's they're just, with. It's just ridiculous, really is like. I mean, uh, I'm not I gonna think... give. I'm not gonna give you like for every pound I make, I'm uh, like sixty fucking p. You know. I can see what they want to do. Like it sound like the idea is we're gonna make. A react, or, you know, Fine Brothers React production in every country, and they're like, "Yeah, sure, that sounds cool." But then it's like, so, but inadvertently, we're also just going to take all your money. <laughs> yeah, but the the irony is, is this is the age of the internet. It's actually already in every single country, pretty much, yeah, except exactly, for like yeah. China and you know the other places Korea. that block that, or, or North Korea. It's like it's <laughs> it's, it's everywhere already. You, you just need to be unless they want kids. to be like you know have a French version and stuff like that, but, ev like, everyone's coming together and speaking English at this point anyway. It's like, the, 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 you know, I don't know where they think they get the views from, but I'm pretty sure it, there'll be a lot of, like, different European countries and stuff mm -hmm. thrown in there at that time as well. So I think that, like, they're the thinking, you know, let's, let's, we've got 14 million, well, had 14 million <laughs> subscribers <laughs> and now we're like we need more i'm like well no how many subscribers does uh, pewdiepie have is it like 20k 41 million? 43 million oh, 43 million. Million. oh shit 43 million. Hell, I, I, 43, million. 43 million yeah got quite a it's bit so to go i know <laughs> it's okay. like what well, well, fine brothers like when it came out originally no one was bothered by it it was when they said we're not going to be taking down videos. We're not going to be taking content from creators. You th then like the f like following that. That's what they started to do, mm. and you know you got to look back to the smaller channels that are doing this who aren't supported by like networks. That's not fair because like you get three strikes, your channel is done. Yeah, exactly. So you got to think about how many channels have they lost? How many channels have been lost to this stupidity? And now like. 
they they, they put out a statement now apologizing. It's like, sorry guys, it's a bit late. You've you've ruined some people's channel, some people's like hobbies or um ways of income. You've probably shut some down. They've picked a really bad time to do it. Like there's been a lot of channels in the like last month or so that have been really, really um what's the word? Uh really badly affected by how YouTube's copyright system's gone down. Oh, yes. Like, uh, a, yeah. Nostalgia Critic got hit. Uh, I that's, hit a diff, that's a different kind of... But when they come out and they go, we're going to copyright React videos. Yeah, so it's, like... it's all about the copyright thing, and with, they've had a bit of a reaction to that, you know, it's like... And with, everyone's gone... Sorry, not everyone, but people, certain channels have had that problem, like yeah. we just said, uh, nostalgia, crit- uh, nostalgia Critic, and it's like, well, this is really un- unopportunistic just at that time, because so there, there's all that's... this news, and there's there's been like, you know, a little bit of movement from that, from I've yeah. seen from different channels just go, blah, 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 this is happening from YouTube, people are copywriting what they sh- don't even have the rights to, or, you know, it's blatantly fair use. And, you know, we, thankfully, the community has actually stood up and gone, no, let's stop this bullshit now. There's this copyright thing. And copywriting a word, you know, something so specific. Yeah. But it's broad. Like... It's it's like, it's this, but encompasses everything. So it's... I mean, the tra- but... I'm surprised, like, this got as much um, coverage as it did. Because last, was it last year or the year before? Sony tried copyrighting Let's Play. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you know, yes. it's like that kind of was buried a bit. It's like imagine how much that would have done to YouTube as as a product if, for example, like you had this, if they started doing the same things like the Fine Brothers done now, it would have just been ridiculous. I think it's different for PlayStation because they don't have a large YouTube presence. But when a YouTube channel itself is imposing itself onto or its idea onto other channels and it's like well we have our big corporate channel with lots of money you can't have your smaller channels so yeah. screw you look i've got lawyers <laughs> fuck you <laughs> what we're gonna do now we're gonna pull this board and we're gonna have a nice gentle game of monopoly i own everything <laughs> and here is a dollar uh, may so the best man win i'm just waiting on the uh thing to go through so i can copyright oxygen and i should be in the go for is is that a, is that like a brand or you oxygen. know what, what is oxygen tell us about I, I, oxygen i'm just i'm just copywriting the entire concept of oxygen so <laughs> the concept of it okay i, I okay. want to copyright ozone so if you want to be protected from uv rays man you know you want to start charging me I'm gonna start hang, charging hang on hang on there's a there's a bit of a thing here because ozone is like has oxygen in there yeah. you guys might have a conflict of interest at the moment i'm gonna have to get my lawyers on you mate sorry it's fine you know nothing nothing, nothing until then you know gonna be unprotected from the uv rays i'm afraid you're gonna just fry to a i'll crust. just stay in the house <laughs> he, barely, he barely leaves anyway he'll be fine <laughs> but i think now the whole fine but this thing because they released an update video saying we done fucked up. Um, you guys can have your content back. That's actually yeah. been. That's actually been. They actually removed that themselves. They put oh, it have up they? and actually removed it. I had to look through, you know, some pages to find right? like a re-upload of it. Goodness. So they actually took that bit down. But word, word on the street, right, the YouTube street. Max doesn't is, know what a street is. Uh, <laughs> he lives. He just lives in a, <laughs> in a field somewhere. <laughs> a little shed. <laughs> Sally, how do you know? It's a secret. It's a, it's a cave. That's when that rock out of the way every morning. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the word on the street is that they've actually just abandoned this whole project. Yeah, they've After removed all their trade you know, Hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I mean, watching the... Uh, there's been like three or four live channels that you just dedicated to watching oh, yeah, yeah, I posted one last down. night on Facebook. I was like, I'm starting something in the background. I like watching numbers flicker down. <laughs> that was so funny. It's, just... it's like, what happens when it reaches zero? I don't know. Are you like going to blow up? Is this, a May- <laughs> is this the Mayan calendar of 2016? When Fine Brothers reach zero, YouTube implodes. But comment I saw quite often was, uh, when you do your 1K subscriber special. That'll be funny, man. 
Um, we made it, it was, guys. It's Ten very days. weird uh, phenomenon, actually. I don't think anything like that's happened before, where a YouTube channel's lost so many subscribers in such a short amount of time. Like, well, yeah, because usually that sort of ha- thing happens when, like, I don't know, the, the active, you know, not, not really posted anything for a but while. But even then, that's not, they don't lose hundreds of thousands of views. That's like a gradual thing, because you mm-hmm. don't proactively unsubscribe from people, because it's not really just something you do. It's I'm not sure really... there was one, and I'm trying to think what the bloody hell it was now. Oh, don't ask me. Ah, screw it. <laughs> it's time but, and time ago. Unsubscribing isn't like a main feature on the YouTube homepage. It's like it's not something you actively do. But when it's such a big backlash like this, it's quite interesting. They so, don't fucked up. Yeah. Well, is, you know, oh. if if they can get their channel back, then go for it. Then 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 good good for them. I think the they're gonna have, they're gonna have to do a lot of making up now. They're gonna have to really kind yeah, of. Yeah, I I think what. Gone is their like probably their dedicated fans. Quite credibility. They've lost. Uh, yeah, they lost the lost the credibility. But the people that watch are really and then really like interact with YouTube. Are those usually those people that watch a lot of stuff and they're all gone now. How so, many of the Fine Brothers viewers though are that active in the YouTube community? Like, if you have thirteen million people, well, are they? Yeah. I would assume a smaller fan base are just random people like. Older generations just clicking onto the funny videos or whatever. Mm. I don't think it's really a dedicated younger fan base that really cares that much. You've got to understand as well that not all those... You don't have like 13, 14 subscribers... If that's like 13, 14 million subscribers go and watch a video immediately when it comes out. It's actually a much smaller proportion. Yeah, it's going to be a lot smaller. Like a million actually go and watch it immediately. And that's what... So they cut that even thinner now. And therefore, because the video, their video will be, you know, less viewed, it'll be going in the, you know, the recommended recommendations and therefore just the, the channel won't grow as much as again, even though it's big. Yeah, it actually, it's they've, they've lost the active people and the active yeah. is what you, actually you, does you go it. on YouTube now and type in Fan Brothers, you get more videos now, not necessarily them and their videos it's yeah. more oh controversy yeah. Now. yeah so so you've got that backlash as well so you know you when your name's just been dragged through mud it's it's worth less mm. when you drag it yourself through yeah. the mud, even worse but hey that's when you're a celebrity this this, this it happens mm-hmm. you know how many substances we know gone done fucked up you yeah. know Right, speaking of uh, React videos, should we, uh, should we start the uh, first segment? Oh, go for it. Does yeah. our first segment have a name? It does, it does. It's called Cringe Factor. So uh, Max and I have this thing where we just love to watch cringe videos together just, just to like talk about what's actually going on. It's like the, the bizarreness of the modern it's society just, just imploding on itself. You know, all, all the crazy ideas. It literally, because of the internet, it just converges onto together and just makes critical mass and just poof, craziness so that's scientific huh? i know it's all I, scientific I, I'm, I'm more concerned like that that wasn't a description for the fans that was more of a description for me wasn't it really <laughs> yeah so it's for you for you to like actually understand it as well so let's uh go to the main screen um technically we really should have like this up be like i'm thinking literally we're just going to rip off X Factor, like da 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 da. If a fan could do that for us, that'd be amazing. What? Use copyrighted music, sure. Well, no, they sounds can. Sounds great. They can, <laughs> <laughs> they can edit it a little bit so it sounds like it. It's, it's, it's like on, G minor. Yeah, but, yeah, but, we, but then we kind of need that uh, introduction voice, you know, like Rachel Ada DG. <laughs> like we just got right there. Beautiful. Anyway, are you guys uh, ready to watch the first video? Yeah. So you might know this. It was uh, been shared quite a lot. It's called Born in the Wrong Species. Now, there are going to be subtitles for this. So any uh... audio, like audio listeners, someone's going to have to read subs. So if you watch on your phone, you're buggered. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, if, you, if you're an audio listener, so, but, unless one of you two wants to read the subtitles... 
But then it'll just be getting in the way of the video. Yeah, I know. It's uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try my best to describe it to you and probably read the subtitles anyway. But it's gonna clash. But you probably know the video. Born in the wrong species. Okay, you ready? You guys ready to watch? Ready to roll? Yeah. I'm Excellent. never ready. Oh, great, Max. That's that's not that's not the right thing at all. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that's a Zoolander. <laughs> that's that's the Zoolander trailer. Oh yeah. This one. Here we go. Yeah, Nano, sure. I have been caught the whole life. Nano. No, she... no, no! <laughs> I found out that they were cat when I was 16 years old. Uh, so she's even got the anime cat girl thing going on. I know, she just loves cats so much. Me, me. Uh, but she can't have every cat. Uh, so she had a genetic defect. Now, did you read that? Yeah, so... She was born with yeah. a gen genetic defect. We've not described what it is, or t said, or, you know, we've not actually labelled it, but, you know... I think uh, as the video goes on, it describes what it was. From what I remember. I okay. That. Okay. Let's 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 continue on. So she's just sat standing in the street, looking really like bewildered by it. Like and, I'm looking you know, at these piercings, and I'm wondering if whiskers, that's definitely whiskers. Yeah, like that yeah. cat guy. Do you remember the cat guy? The tiger oh, guy. Yeah, the tiger guy. And he's got the whiskers and the claws and the teeth. He did his teeth as well, didn't he? Did, they got yeah. them pointed. This is maybe this is the next line in Cat People. So you've had that guy, and now this is the next generation. He he reproduced. <laughs> I'm with some kind of Thundercats uh, pun going on here. Well, you, she is loose. You keep on working on that. So they're just in the station, just walking. What can you hear and see that I can't? And that's a woman. <laughs> now, now she's like going, like experiencing all her senses. Like I can hear suitcases rolling, keys jiggling, and stuff like that. It's like, so everything that probably everyone else could hear as well. It's like you're in a busy station. So I think I'm not sure if it's mentioned on this video or if it was mentioned earlier on, but the genetic, uh, I don't know what they're saying, defect or or well, let's mutation. Let's... Okay. Is that her hearing is slightly higher pitched or something? Oh. And that's why she thinks she's a cat. Right, okay. Gore me son Look, she, now she's just hissing at a dog that's walking by. What happened? There's a dog over there. Uh, the thing is, I my mum actually has dogs and cats in the same house and they actually just don't care at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm in the same as well. But they only react to that if it's like yeah, a new yeah, animal so or something new is in the environment. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I live in a house and I've got like, there's two oh. dogs, six okay. cats and about three birds. And they all just live in harmony. I'm like, yeah. what? I th it's it's such a typical like thing. It's like cats don't like dogs and dogs don't like cats. And, you know, she's just gone. Keep that in there. And this is how I should react if I'm a cat. I should hate dogs. I'm just like... Well, she's not got fur or anything, so I don't know what she's going on about. No, if she was a cat, it's 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 just basically you know how she thinks about stuff. Basically, what I'm saying is, I don't, she, I don't think she's learned as a child. I I I I, I know cats and dogs don't get along. <laughs> Therefore, if I act like a cat, I should dislike dogs and hiss at them. That's that's literally what's going on. Honestly. I don't think in the evolutionary scale, I don't think monkeys cross with cats at any points. Well, like, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's all it's we all know it's in the head. There's nothing and there's nothing going on here special. She, so now now she hates water like uh, most cats. Man, yeah, she has likes like, to wash I'm herself. So she faces stuff. Actually. Now she's got like fake paws yeah, and she's like washing herself oh, with these paws. The thing is, everything yeah, yeah, she's displaying yeah, is yeah, just yeah, I, I like dressing up as generic yeah, cat girl yeah, from a yeah, honeymoon. Yeah. And now she's literally oh, on all fours. See, that's not how cats walk. Like she's not also, being a cat. Really she's being a person pretending to be a cat. Yeah, that's. She's, she's she's looking outside, meowing. You know, like sort of cats do, but it is literally I'll mimic a cat, but I've not actually got the correct <sighs> movements in my body to feel like a cat, unless you know that's how they think cats should be, just like walking on all fours, but you know, kneeling, 
crawling. It it doesn't it doesn't seem right. It's not because cats don't do anything. They just sit there all day. Yeah, <laughs> that's all cats do. Or go on the hunts. Demand food. Yeah. And she's got bells attached to it, of course. And she's just literally just scratching at a door, <laughs> wanting to go out. So she's going through all the advantages and you know she can hear better and she can see better in the dark and then she's been asked uh, can you see animals out in the dark mice yeah uh, yes. Has she had a rabies shot? Because that's quite an important thing. Pardon? Has she had a rabies shot? Oh, that is a good question. Well, Does she have she's been shot then? I was like, what the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> She's just been taken out and BAM! <laughs> Straight, just in that station area. That thing, they just did it. Publicly. No! Germany stood up and said no to this! <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than being a Nazi. <laughs> BAM! That's what they did. Well, this escalated quickly. It did, yeah. <laughs> that's what Germany said. I didn't say it. That's all, all I'm saying. It's Germany's fault. Uh, is it is Germany. Like some other country. Is it? I, I don't know where she's... Oh, maybe it's Finland. I don't know. See, this is why you gotta... Yeah, I, I just can't say things like this anymore. Oh. Just, I have to quit now. That's been stand, uh, culturally stand disrespectful. So. Yeah, I know. See, bye, Russell. Bye. That's that's an apology. Next episode. Yeah. First retraction already. Thing, like, she, she's this is my best friend, Sven. Now Sven. look at look at Sven. Sven. Look at Sven. Sven. How do you say that? Spain? Sven? 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 Is it Sven with an I? Uh, then again, I I've not really encountered this name that much, so what okay. do I know? So this guy. Uh, Yes, something he's called got... personalities. Oh, so he's so schizophrenic. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like he's got multiple personalities. Okay, one of them is a cat, though. One of them is a cat. Okay. Cat. He looks really bored. He looks like I'm. I'm just here. So... This is the personality who says, "What the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs> Why am I hanging out with this cat girl?" <laughs> oh, but he's such. It's, it's so obvious that I don't know if he's actually you know got this cat personality, but you'll see you'll see it later what I mean. Some cat. I was going to spend this film at Urbis. Uh, <laughs> he has a human, but kind of someone in his head that was a cat. Oh. So a cat crawled into his head. Uh, yeah. Suddenly it stops meowing, meowing, and all she does, and he understands it. They communicate in cat language. Cat language, not they've not made anything for it. It's called cat language. I wonder if it's meow, 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 meow. <laughs> you uh, have you been studying? It I've, got, like I've just got my degree yesterday in uh, cat language. <laughs> good, good. We're gonna be teaching it soon. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a core uh, piece of the curriculum. It's gonna be really important. Uh, for will the Will you bring language. other like like variations like lions? Are there, are there variations like that? Uh, yeah, uh, it goes. It's all about uh, the accents. Um, all about the accent on how you do certain things. Okay, let's let's just continue on. But this this guy, like, look now, look at this now. Did you understand that? I understood. Of, of course you did. No, but... There was no test there of understanding that. She said, translate this for me. Meow, 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 meow. Did you understand that? Yeah, it's just like... Mm. I think right. to each other they'll understand, like, facial expressions or whatever the context is, but... It just it just looks like the guy... Going, 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 meow, not... meow, 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 meow. It's like going, hold her. Hold on, hold on. And it's like, got, apparently, got like, I called into, um, I think it was a guy who played him, said like, there's, there's 76 different ways to pronounce hold on. Hmm, okay. Just, is that, is that how it's going to come across now to, to her, is me going meow, just going to be like that now? Meow. Like, meow. <laughs> 
But to me, that seems it, it, it seems obvious that this guy's just like not getting any pussy, and then he wants to get with this pussy. I'm more interested in the shots, really, because considering she's like a huge cat person and she's clearly into anime, her balls are pretty like blank and like there's no color anymore. Cats like yeah. whites. If you didn't know, they're just they're monochrome. It's all about the monochrome. Okay. That's just, that's just interesting, interesting to me for uh, an, like an anime fan or any kind of fan like this to have a quiet blank room. If I know the question. Psychologist or something. I, yeah. I, I can. Go out of it. But she's, but she's not. She's doubtful. She's just going to be like this forever. She, so she actually had a tail. They were actually showing her a tail that she walks around in. So, yeah. That was a video. Uh, yeah, that that is true. So that was indeed a uh, clip of an online video. Okay. Well, we're just going to get even worse now. I'm wondering if that was just really the slow news day, like at whatever station this was at, or it was just like an online station. Uh, it was. It was. A, it was actually. Uh, it's actually a YouTube video. No, it's actually... not. It's not. It's just well presented. That's all. Uh... It just, you know, it looks like a news report, doesn't it? But it is actually a YouTube video. So. We've actually got theme today. I wonder if you could notice what it is. So this is 10 reasons why girls should have sex with dogs. What? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need a pre-production. I, you know, yeah. I need to know what these things are coming up. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what I wanted to scare you with. I'm actually quite curious if this, whoever's made the video, is actually making justified reasons because I'd be highly surprised. Right. Shall we get watching? If, I swear to God, if the one is for the laws, I'm hey just everyone. going. So today I'm going to be doing my video on 10 reasons why I think women should have sex with dogs. Um, reason number one, women in history okay. have practiced it. There have been documented cases of ancient Romans and Greeks, and Greeks, I'm sorry, ancient Romans and Greeks practicing it for pleasure. Reason number two. So, so it, it happened in the past, therefore it's fine. Just, just, you know... Like genocide and stuff like that. It happened in the past. So it's fine. He also hunted... God, I imagine Donald Trump using an excuse one day. <laughs> Dogs' tongues can get in very hard to reach places. And it can feel amazing. <laughs> it, it, feels, it feels good what? because of tongues. <laughs> <laughs> what hard to reach place? <laughs> <laughs> what hard to reach place that a human cannot go? And I'm being very vague on purpose. What hard to reach place can a can a human not get to? I mean, look at that. I'm sure a human's tongue can get between the toes <sighs> if it wanted to. Look, look at how big that dog is. That that dog <laughs> has a big tongue. She's not got a little chihuahua there. She has got like, she's got what's that? It's a German Shepherd. She's got a big, a big dog. For a big mm. reason. Reason number three. You cannot get pregnant. It is impossible for a dog to impregnate a human. Meaning. <laughs> Just showing that really it shouldn't be done. <laughs> as, as a reason surely. But okay. We have you, these you guys inventions. are so shocked. You look so shocked. It's so we funny. have these. We in the last like couple of years, we've invented these magical things called condoms and the morning after pill. The, the these. I don't know if she's heard of them. They're very new. I mean, that's. Just... I'm pretty sure condoms have been around well since the Roman times because they yeah. were originally no. sheep intestines. Yeah, I question if this is actually like a troll so... video or if it's actually like a. Video. I don't know. It's just one of these videos where we just have to just judge it as what we see. Say what you see. Say what you see. You can have sex 24/7, risk free. 24/7, <laughs> 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 risk free. It's not. There's like there's some Viagra in his pedigree or something daft like that. <laughs> there's still disease and all sorts of crap. It's not totally safe. Yeah. That, you I'm, might get an STD. Can't get an STD. Huge thing Great, you can get fleas. If you um, <laughs> if you're allergic. To so so instead of getting crabs, you get fleas instead. Yeah. That that'll be embarrassing. <laughs> just have to go to the uh, or ticks and just go to the uh, the uh, pets. 
shelf at the supermarket and go, yeah, this is for me. This is for me. Put it in the basket. They can harm you. There's actually a case in, um, where was that? I think it was in Europe, of a woman dying from an allergic reaction. That's just pretty much the only thing that can harm you, is if you're allergic to dog sperm. Reason number five, it has Fact. been around since the beginning of time. Beginning there of time? Been, That's interesting. <clears throat> there have been crit, uh, crit, there have been cave paintings of it. Beginning of time. Cave Citation, paintings. please. <laughs> 2000 BC. I would like some pictures of this. Exactly. Of a man being mounted by a Labrador. <laughs> It's legal in some countries and states. It actually is, though. Did you not know that? It is. Like, okay, where was I? I think I was on... You see, this dog here is, like, biting yeah. her and stuff. Yeah, it is It is legal in some countries. He's a bit horny. You think this dog, he wants it. It's in states. You might call him a dog on heat. You can enjoy it pretty much without worry. Other than, um, judgmental people and religious people. That's pretty much all you have to worry about. Reason number seven. I think my favourite part is the fact that it looks like she's scripted this because it's clearly she's reaching over to something. No, she's definitely got the ten reasons out, definitely. This is not just off the top of the head. She's she's worked meticulously on these reasons because she needs to find reasons to fuck this dog. <laughs> to make it fine, that's why. What would happen if she met the cat lady? Oh, I don't know. Well, surely the cat lady would hiss. But does she know she's a dog fucker? Oh, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> See what you did there. Yeah. Would she know? Could she, could she, with her cat senses, smell the dog semen in the pussy? Wow. <laughs> could you she? went there. You actually went... Hey! Right there. That girl kept... has a supernatural, well, near supernatural powers of senses. It seemed, it's, that's what she was saying. Right? So, I'm not saying... Look! That's it's a question. <laughs> I did say it, but, yes. you know, I'm not... I'm not... I'm asking a question. I'm not saying it's facts. I asked a question. I think that's only fair. Welcome to the last episode of uh, Three Times Faster. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't that bad. It's got taken down three times faster than fucking Fire Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we will go negative 300,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my words, we'll be fine. <laughs> it's something that most people wouldn't do. So, some people like to think about it now. Oh, so, <clears throat> if you missed that one, it's it's a, it's a kink. That's that's a reason. It's kinky. It's considered a kink. Okay. Especially for, like, a dog person, I guess, like, yeah! It's not really a reason. I don't know if that's a really a reason, though, to do it. Reason number eight. Eight. Not eight. It's convenient. It's... You don't have to. There's thing in there. <laughs> it's convenient. Yes, you heard that right, Max. But you can't even talk to it. Dog, just right there. You don't have to. <clears throat> Sorry, you don't Did she say it. train it to um, tea, drink it's beer? It's in front of you. It's around you. Or is it South Park or something? <laughs> <laughs> Reason number nine. They don't nag or complain. They are silent companions. Don't nag or complain. I'm sorry. You clearly haven't lived with the dog very long yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Well, then again, if you're giving the dog that much bloody attention. Yeah. Mm. He's not going to nag. Number 10. So. They are easy to train. So, so from what I've gathered, she likes it because it's silent, convenient. She can't get any Ill pregnant or any illnesses. So what the hell is you just have a fucking dildo? Yeah. It's it's coming to this conclusion, aren't we? Just like it's it's a a warmer dildo, basically. It's, it sounds like she just didn't want to go to a sex store, and she instead went to the pet store next door. <laughs> <laughs> sex, <laughs> pet, sex, <laughs> pet. Which one is it? I can't. <laughs> no. no. <clears throat> it's not hard to teach your your dog phrases, words, or show them certain objects to initiate sex. This protects you from your dog humping you in front of your fam your family, your friends. Because that would be embarrassing. There's my ten reasons. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. That dog wants it right then and now. He's, he's like snooting around this, this the downstairs area. Cats. Pardon? 
This dog ain't scared of no cats. <laughs> Star Wars. Let's talk about it. Come on, media, well, media time. You love so it. So let's uh, let's let's go through this in uh, ascending order. Max, how many times have you watched it? I've seen it once. Russell. So the first time was in 3D. Second time was IMAX. It was amazing in IMAX. Third time 3D again. So three times. Three times. I feel slightly bad because I did go watch it six times. I don't feel bad whatsoever. Really, I, I don't. I, it's honestly, it's initially I was like, oh, I, it didn't feel right. Something wasn't sitting right with me. I liked parts of it, but then the second time and the third time, it just then the expectations were lowered. I knew what I was getting, and it was a feel right, and I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed what, it. Yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it so much more each progressive time the first time i obviously i, I still enjoyed it mm -hmm. but my biggest bugbear was, was was kylo ren i could not what? stand him at all first time his acting to me just felt it, it was on par for christian head and um for anakin christian head uh, i can't even say his bloody name it just felt like that kind of forced and you know, in, in trying to act maybe like a spoiled you, maybe, brat, yeah, maybe you just... don't like that sort of character. Then. I didn't really that character like... doesn't bother me. I had just understood him as a teenager, so that's how teenagers he... tend to act. No, I that... think he's much. I think he's like twenty, like twenty six or something. Really? Yeah, because I think that would mean he was like born 18, four think... years after Return of the Jedi. Oh, is it forty? So no, it's thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Thirty. So I think like he was born. I'm, re I'm reckoning late teens, early twenties. Mm. No, I think it a bit old. But at the same that. time, and you know, this this is where these conversations now will get ripped into by any Star Wars fan out there because I thought that was you. Old... I thought that was your job. Yeah, this this is why we brought you here to talk about this. This is kind of like this is where it gets awkward now because you know everyone we we have the the established expanded universe or legends as it's now called by Disney mm -hmm. and their way of you know they've, they've said that now is not canon. I was like, well, we have an established path, pathway of the Jedi. You know, we we we, are, we have a vague idea of their progression, their training, and whatnot. So it's kind of like we don't really know what the new one is. Is it the same? Is it is it going to be different? So apparently, Kylo kind of... Ren is either twenty nine or thirty. I reckon it's even late much 30s. older than we thought. That's what apparently it says. I think late twenties. I'm like, thinking like just just creeping into it, basically. Kylo Ren was born you know, one year after Endor, making him either 29 or 30, is what I'm getting here. Thank you, Fact Checker. Thank you. Thank you, Google. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Like Progressively, I enjoyed it more, and I could understand more. You know, and I was, you know, I was thinking about it, and... Um... I reckon they could have made anything, and people would praise it, because it's like, it's not the prequels. <laughs> See... Everyone rips into the prequels. I'm one of the few people that did enjoy the prequels. You know, some I saw... aspects of the prequels are quite enjoyable to watch. Yeah. There's some stuff in there that I just hated. Like like, like sand. It gets, gets it, everywhere. It gets everywhere. Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, I, I'm not going to sit mean... here and defend the, prequel, the prequels, but... Um... I like Grievous. That was like my favourite part of the prequels. No, I think that's the most bullshit part of it. Uh, well, not of it, but that movie. I was just like, okay, we oh, set fuck up the this... movie, and then this TV show where it's like, oh, oh. yes, <laughs> we, we remember, clips. you know. But people don't only watch the movies, you see, and they don't know about Grievous and that Cartoon Network. Remember that? Yeah, that was yeah, the, the, the ten-minute like, episodes. Yeah, I'm, animated I'm by like... Sam, uh, Samurai Jack, and it was it was amazing to watch, and that's why got... you saw Grievous. But the thing is now we've got Clone Wars, which is its own separate entity. So it's like when we talk about the Clone Wars. We'll know what we're on about, but if we mention Clone Wars clothes. to someone else, it's completely different, and it's the same timeline. Mm. But at the same it? time, it's like, well, yeah, that's weird. Um, but now it's just confusing. Some people won't understand like what's what, like how we're on about, like what we're going to be on about, and I'm just mixing my words up now. Seem to that they can Google this stuff. To what? What year was? The original Clone Wars TV show was that like 2001, 2002? Later than that, because yeah, by that, because it's only about five years old. 
I reckon it's more. Well, it's older than that. It it's is older than that. I remember six. watching it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, they've got the new show Rebels anyway. Yeah. So, you know. But, the, uh, yeah, so. Was, it, was, it was out when I was living up north. Yeah. So, I don't know. So my question know. is, if we have a Disney expanded universe, we're going to see the Avengers and Darth Vader team up against Frozen. Well, they've already against died. against what? Sorry, Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I thought like something a bit more powerful, but no, Frozen. Frozen. She can turn the entire place into ice, like none of Why, so why would we need? Also, like, we're going to have in one corner. We're going to have <laughs> Star Wars universe and the Avengers yeah. versus X Men and the Disney princesses. Oh, X Men's not Disney. No, we can't. They're not owned, so that can't happen. I'm sorry. It could be the Disney princesses. And the that, Disney princesses, it's, it's right. And they're all exactly. all evil and all in battle armor. That <laughs> right, Disney, <laughs> right? Call us, and we've got this. We've got this sourced out. It sounds really good. Thanks, but no, I I don't see any crossover happening at any point. It doesn't I'm make sense. It'll be, it'll be it doesn't kind of make sense cameo. because it's a long a, a galaxy long ago. A galaxy long time ago, far, far away. You know? Somehow in the future. How many of the Disney... How are you going to move... This? How are you going to move the Avengers to a different galaxy? Or people... They had the portal. That star flies through. And also, and you know, a lot of the Star Wars no. universe was not discovered still. And, and so you're saying the, it's... You've got the Guardians of the Galaxy. They go, hey guys, let's go for a trip. And they pick them up and they go, boom. And that's, that's how it starts. Yeah, the little starship battle and then the other guy in the Falcon. Yeah. So how how is, is anyone going to have the Force? It, it being anyone Stark, from Marvel? Stark will have the Force. This will Stark. make him balance out. No, Stark. That will make him balance out against the more powerful Avengers. No, we we all know for a fact that Jean Grey is going to have the Force, <laughs> as is would Xavier. They would have the Force. X Men is not Disney. But it's not. It's still Marvel. It. Shut up. No, we, <laughs> we're talking about the cinematic universe. Scarlet Witch can have the Force. That'll make him overpowered. But, is, but are you just, so you're <laughs> saying anyone that's sort of magic-y is, has the Force? No, I'm just saying Scarlet Witch is overpowered anyway. May as well just give her the Force. I don't think they're going to go that way with Scarlet Witch, to be honest. They will if they want to retcon stuff. Like if they want oh, to just, yeah, they, oh, yeah. yeah. If, if, the, if suddenly they get... Uh, we have the X Men back. We have Quicksilver back. <laughs> yeah, you just like, just like, let's magic everyone back. So now to, I really wanted to father Magneto. <laughs> Bam. All they need to do with Scarlet Witch is, is give her the power of what she had in X Men Legends, where she just turns everything into cardboard boxes. If you ever, did you ever play that game? I have no idea what you're talking about. What in what X Men Legends um, or X Men Legends Two? I think it was. You could play a Scarlet Witch. Okay. And. You just turned people into boxes in, and possibly get like items out of them. Okay. It was like her power. It was, oh, that, like, it was her way no. of, of... It was their way of manifesting her power of um, reality walking or whatever it is. Right, when you said boxes, I thought it was like cardboard boxes. I thought, yeah, that, like, it was. Ragdoll physics kind of thing? Not like no, I, I boxes so you get items out of them. Literally you know, but that's, yeah, boxes. Game mechanic kind of thing. Right, okay. So yeah, Star Wars is a uh, thing that exists. Damn right it does. <laughs> right. I, know, I, I, oh, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, what was your favourite part, though, of, of A New Hope? I mean, <laughs> Force Awakens. We could go through all the films. Nothing wrong with that. I think, <laughs> I think my favourite part is everyone else's favourite part, and that's, like, when the guy busts out his fucking laser top for thing, and it's like, traitor! And for, like, the first time, you see a stormtrooper. Is it FN2199? Like, something like that. And he's like... I, I can't shoot for shit, but I can certainly keep up with a lightsaber, apparently, so... No. <laughs> for, for me, my favorite bit is um, when they capture Phasma. And they're like, really? what do I do that with bit? That when bit? They, no, 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 it's one bit, and I love it, because you never see you never see her m- much. Oh. But it's that one bit, it's like, do you have a garbage... Do you have a, uh, uh, what a garbage it? disposal shit. Yeah, a garbage disposal. And the way she just goes, like, just just look like, just nods her head, like, fuck you on about <laughs> I tell the head I just find that hilarious I think Phasma is really weird like they've pushed her like as an iconic character like they've yeah. pushed that character so hard in advertising and then the movie she's like maybe has three minutes of screen time of screen time and she doesn't actually do anything except boss people around even then like half she has a minute was like 
Oh, um, Phasma, uh, we've caught you now. You're not going to resist or, like... I don't think we do actually ever hear her name either, do we? Oh, she makes it Captain Phasma. What's yeah, it's right literally, from... literally just once Captain Phasma. And he's, uh, Finn does say, I'm in charge now, Phasma. Me. Yes, me. Yeah, I'm in yeah. charge now. I'm in charge now. <laughs> yeah. I'm in charge now. Come at me, bro. <laughs> so, uh, my favourite part was, uh, literally a little bit where, uh, we're talking about, uh, the characters are going to the secret base and like BB-8's like in the middle going what? what? no no I can't I can't <laughs> oh, trust yeah. him but we're gonna have to, I have to go oh, I can't, oh no and it's like Finn's like droid work with me here boy <laughs> come on now it's just like okay and then he gives a little thumbs up at the end but right, that, when that happened I couldn't figure out if the writer was supposed to represent thumbs up or is it like, giving him the finger like I couldn't Okay, I'll, 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 I'm working with you. Fuck you, Finn. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I that, that was like another another one of my favourite bits. No lines from Luke Skywalker. I was like, uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Luke Skywalker not talking. I, the only problem I have with that scene is the camera work for that scene was really dodgy. The very end, it's literally. It felt like they got a GoPro camera on a helicopter. <laughs> on a drone. And it was like, whoa, and that's it. I just like, that doesn't just got, feel... You just got J.J. Abrams there like, with his drone. It just, it just lingers, it just lingers too long. And it's just yeah. like, okay, okay, we get it. We get it now, we get it. We, we get it. I quite liked, the other scene I liked was the, when they're attacking the, um, not the, um, cafe place. That's the worst place I'm thinking of. Oh, so that how they integrate the yeah the, the sky had, like, battle, the, the land the battle, the ground battle. I thought that yeah. was quite good. I so that's like that. the very first time where they've like really done something. Yeah, exactly. Like that. So yeah, that was that. pretty. That was pretty good to watch. But I just I don't know. I just wanted a bit more things that weren't just generic Star Wars. Like that's a Tie Fighter. It's Star Wars. You I remember think they Tie had Fighters? To play it safe. I think that's an X Wing. Have... We're not going to show you any other different types of. Star yes, that, that's it's literally really just, it's the most generic boiled down this is Star Wars and X Wing like, TIE Fighters. Yeah, and that's all we got. That's I don't think got. they could have risked anything like after the prequels, like they didn't go down well, so now it's the students who are like, We have to make this movie as safe as possible so we can tell Return of the Jedi beat sell toys. The ships are like Return of the Jedi ships are amazing, like the B Wing. It's like my favourite ship. I love the B Wing. That's and great. The A Wing as well. It's like, but that movie you know, has why, to why, why do we have And the Tie the Interceptor. Peoples? Who doesn't like the Tie Interceptor? Tie Interceptor is pretty cool. But you they know, didn't but... have to recover from the prequels. That's the thing. Like this is a movie in a corporate eyes. Like great. So we have to make this movie so it actually is good. So we just have loads of iconic stuff in there. Like the next two movies will probably be good on their own backs. But this first I'm one hoping, had to be I don't, I don't want iconic. To... Oh, it had to be shown to be. Yeah. Look, we know how to Star Wars. Look, it's not Jar Jar. I can Star Wars, me. Exactly. Yeah, so that I, I can. Look, it's Kirk. Agree with you. Uh, <laughs> what? I, I can. I can agree with you. What you're saying here, Max. They did literally condense like most of the trilogy. The first trilogy. They had like a main bit of, um, you know, a New Hope it was pretty much everything, and then they went. Here's the really cool scene, the shock scene of... Uh, Spoilers. <laughs> everyone's seen it. I'm not even going to bother. I mean, this is going to be in the title of the thing. Empire Strikes Back bit, anyway. Han dies, yeah, I said it. Okay, great. But that's like the big... Even though we all Snake know... Snake kills Dumbledore. We all know that it was, it was so choreographed to be that way. So oh. so much future style. Like, I wasn't sure it was so choreographed. Like, I was sweating. Are they doing this to make it really obvious and then pull the bait and switch and they don't do it? Like, that would have been, like, Ooh, surprising. That, that, so what So oh. what would have happened there? So they, what, they do a confrontation on the catwalk and what What were you expecting then? If Before that, they... What were you I, expecting I was expecting them to fight or maybe Han get, like, injured, but it was set I, up too obviously for him to, like, oh... He's your father, and yeah. like, oh, shit, he's going to die. I don't think... You know, I was oh, thinking shit. about it for a while and, you know, like... Theories on films is fun. You know, I was thinking, like, maybe... You know, here, here's one way of looking at it. Like, who do you think actually activated the lightsaber? I don't know. I'm assuming you both think Kylo Ren activated the lightsaber. 
And I, and it's like a way of looking at it is. Um, Hang on, wait until no. so Kylo Ren activated the lightsaber. You, the yes. light, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. No, no, like when, it, when it stabs Han. Oh, right, well... Do you think Han stabbed himself? So, yes. So that he released the... his son from the pain. Oh, no, oh not, I didn't, not, think, not, I didn't not, even think me, about this. Let me, let me explain it. He goes on the line of, say, like, Kylo Ren says, I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Okay. And they're struggling over it. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's kind of like... Think about that. You're both struggling on an item. You're both pulling it towards you. You know, it would be if if Kylo wanted to stab Han, he could easily just let it go towards Han and turn it on. Okay. okay. So what if he stabbed himself to help his son out? Yeah, to help his son because he says he doesn't have to. Don't worry, son. To do it. I'll help you conquer the galaxy. It's fine. Well, that's just it though. Maybe it was a fact that Han knows that there is some light in his son so he does it himself so he can't tarnish that so uh, ah right that's beautiful that i didn't think about that that's actually really good because when he stabs him to to say to save his son to go into the dark side he does it to himself yes mm. yes okay. so he has that redeeming factor because at the end of it when he stabbed it's not like yeah he's shocked but it's like it hurt more than it did shock him because he then still reaches up to his son before he falls off mm. I didn't not like... want to pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just another way of looking at it. Traitor! <laughs> oh, that's, that's an interesting angle. Because he does, uh, in another part early in the movie, just say, I'm having problems straying. Yeah, the he's, he's like struggling that. with it his entire time. Mm. You know. That's quite interesting. I had more of it in my head, trying just trying to word it. it. It's, it's so that, I guess it's what that's... happens on the sixth time. This is the revelation you have. Yeah, <laughs> you have time to think about it when you're uh, yeah. watching the uh, Death Star. I mean, <laughs> Star Killer Base blow up. Oh God! <laughs> do, do you guys? We fire a giant it? laser. Let us all look at it. Isn't oh. it beautiful? <laughs> the destruction feel... of five planets. I feel like the Death Star, like, do a blow up the Death Star should have been, like, that was looked easy. Like, we can blow up the moon. Yeah, it's fine. When it's like, this thing is like an entire planet and it can kill an entire solar system. Yeah. Or it's killed in exactly the same way. I know, right? And it's like, we've saved them. We've blown up Star Killer Base. At some point they've got to realise, we've just relocated a sun, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. All the planets have just gone off somewhere. This entire system's gravitational pull yeah. is just completely, like, <laughs> altered. Obviously, well, look, the sun was missing in the first place. It was like, have we just made things worse? The other thing is, when it's blown up those planets, like, we have no connection to yeah, what so, planets so what, blowing up. What is it? Is it Coruscant? No, no, it's, no it's, it's not, not Coruscant. Coruscant. But, I mean, but what do we know? What do we know? It's just like, that could be the Republic. Fuck those senators. Fuck them hard. Blow them up. And that's they, it. Just like... They killed the planet Jar Jar inhabited. Yes! <laughs> So it's like here's so much weight and just like you feel more weight it was on, an on dying scene. than the billions of people. You know, there's a, that's how that's how it works. You, there's no like we we're I think we're just all immune to sort of this sort of thing now with so many big movies about saving the world and massive planet destruction and all that sort of stuff. Like yeah, we don't know any of these people. Uh, okay, there's people dead. Okay, great. The other question is, how did nobody fucking know that they were building this thing? They it was. I think, it, it's, I think thing. it's like on the outer skirts somewhere. Just like nobody noticed know. a planet appearing on the outer skirts. No, but it like, wasn't there. No, they like, shot it like across the universe. Well, surely you'd be flying along like across the galaxy. That planet appears off a very nice belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> Might get one myself. <laughs> Because it was. You look from a distance, it's like just like some kind of like <laughs> giant championship belt. It's you know, the champions like, of the galaxy. It's that DC character, isn't it? The Green Lantern planet. <laughs> That's the Green Lantern thing around it. Oh, what's it called now? I've, I've, not, I've not looked at anything Green Lantern for years. You're our resident <laughs> DC lover. You should know these things. You need to brush up. I, I follow Batman. I follow interesting things here. <laughs> no. I follow the you know. I follow Batman, Batwoman. I follow the you know the ones that are important. None of the Superman crap. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Come at me, bros. I'm not even going to say anything. Yeah. I think. Oh, well, he's got Batman as well. We only just noticed that. Well, I'm the I'm the Joker. So it's all good. Oh, don't get me started on the Joker. For the love of God, I will rant. 
Okay, so we just move on to Superman versus uh, Batman then. Can I quickly interject? That. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So in the in the most current DC comics, so you know Superman lost his powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's got them back with the power of kryptonite, and now also... he can hear radio and Wi-Fi transmissions. Great. Oh, they oh, added more. So kryptonite gives him his powers back now. So, so does he like eat it like spinach, like Popeye? You know, like, I don't know. So, well, does he just have it with his <laughs> cereal, <laughs> a bit of milk? Yeah, just like, is he normal and then needs the, the, a little bit of kryptonite? Uh, it's, uh, his eyes grow green, and he's, now his eyes are green, and it's like, so he's a Satan now, I guess. Um, and yeah, kryptonite gives him his powers back instead of killing him. Does he lose Does he lose those powers No, I later? think just, they're just back now. He's like, or does he just... get them back whilst he's around Kryptonite? I, I think, think he's like just take, gotten a lot of, a large amount of Kryptonite and like absorbed it or something. Like, oh, you Batman. know what that is though, don't you? Because Batman was too busy, you know, like, oh, fucking dickhead, piss off. Yeah, go, 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 shoot, shoot. Well, the fact that you can hear like internet and like Wi-Fi and all these transmissions. Oh my God. Like, it doesn't even make any sense, but yeah, like, okay. Just think, you can flying across the Atlantic. Data, sure. You can think <laughs> of all the Pornhub, you can just just watch in your mind. <laughs> you, you, you've got internet on the go. It's only it's only what's being streamed though. You, you can't you can't <laughs> hack into it. You have to you have to hack into people else someone else's stream. Just like oh you're watching that. Oh no, it's 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 that cat girl with that boy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what am I doing? Stop! <laughs> Stop! But here's a question now though. Who would you say is now more powerful, Superman or Batman? Because Batman now is a fucking god. Oh yeah, because the chair. He's got a knowledge now, isn't he? Well, hang, on, you know... I, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down here. Yeah. For for a DC noob like me, tell me tell me how that happened. What? Is it the uh, end of the the last Justice League arc? Yeah. He becomes um, God of Knowledge, and he now sits on, I think it's called the Morpheus chair. As you or do. The Mor- Morbius chair, Morbius chair, sorry. Yeah. And um, the chair knows everything, but he's yeah. hooked into it, so okay. it talks directly to him. Okay. And uh, when he does it, he asks two questions. Okay. Who killed my parents, and who killed... And, and, sorry, who killed my parents, and what is the Joker's real name? Um, wow, so he knows we, it. We, we only hear... Him speak. We don't hear anything from the chair, so yeah. we assume the chair just goes into his head, like internet signals in Superman. And <laughs> his response was, "Yes, I thought I knew it was Joe Chill, but we never hear the, 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 Joker. the Joker's name. We never obviously. hear that. Yeah. The only thing we get is, no, it can't be. So he must already know the name of who the Joker is. So that's going to be interesting. I mean, is, is, is see... this is this Justice League in the new Fifty Two? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. So, because uh, um, Batman now is Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, guys, I knew about that one. Yeah. But, Strange yeah. time to be in comic books. I mean... Right. I'm still annoyed at the New 52 that they never brought out Red Robin, like, with his own franchise. That still annoys me. I'm, I'm up to date with Marvel, the and they're doing a new... Is it New Secret Wars they're doing now? Well, they've finished it now, pretty much. No, 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 no they've done the secret... The, the, what's not Secret Wars? What's the other Marvel event they have? Secret uh, League. Well, is it... No, I don't know. They're doing some new war, a new a new event. Civil I'm War. Like, <laughs> well, no, they had the war. Oh, years ago. Battle. They battle. Was it Battle World? Yeah, yeah. So they've, they've just done Secret War, which is Battle World. So you're yeah. saying they're doing a Civil which War. Which was too, a massive obviously. merger yeah. of yeah. all different universes. Yeah, so that's, ha- that's, that's happened. No, no, but now there's like a new Civil War. And it's literally like, everyone's like, it's been two minutes since you just made this new universe and now you're making Everyone a new event each. comic. Yeah, like, chill out. I think that's just how it is. You just need big events constantly just to, like, survive. The thing is, like, with the movies we're getting now, the movies are based on events that all most comic book readers are familiar with from 30 or so years ago. Mm -hmm. So for the movies to even play catch-up is, like... I don't know if that's, like... Unless they skip, like, a lot. Well, well, they're not going to replay it, like, how it is. They're just going to go, this is it. Just, Just there. It's sort of based on this comic. Well, they can like and then do what you do, make what you will of it. It was sort of based on this comic. Well, Dark Knight Rises did that, didn't it? It merged. Mm. Dark Knight Rises merged two stories together. Yeah. So it's not impossible, and um, them stories weren't exactly that old either. 
Long Halloween and No oh, Man's Land. Yeah, so everything seems to be actually not as old as you think. Like, um, let's uh, Age of Ultron, even though not anything to do with Age of Ultron, it was the birth of Ultron. Ultron's not that old, I don't think. That incarnation of what he looks like and yeah. what he does. I'm not familiar with Marvel myself. Like, because Ultron is completely... They're completely different at this point. Well, it wasn't, was it wasn't, 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 Ultron. It wasn't was just, Ultron made uh, by Ant-Man in the first place. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's, that's all different. So they've changed that. They've literally uplifted Ooh. everything. And Ultron originally was just this. To be honest, the Asian Ultron movie was just um, we wanted Vision. So now we have Vision. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. And but I I don't know I don't know. They wanted Vision. I don't know why they needed Vision, though. It's like, let's just introduce Superman, sort of, into this. No explanation. I, I'm I'm scared of how they're going to do things, because they just went character, character, character in Age of Ultron, and then they didn't... What the fuck? It was just, it's just like, to know... So like, and on, no one on knew who the Vision was, honestly. So on, no on one knew. Segway, I'm going like, to be honest, like, I didn't know who Vision was. Yeah, so it was like, in my group of friends, it was just me, and I had to know that that's the Vision, just just, just to deal with it, okay. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he's like, so confused. And so like, on, on a segue to Superman versus Batman, where they are also introducing... A load of characters and throwing them at you. <laughs> Are you hyped for the film? Uh, um, yes and no. I'm a I'm a diehard Batman fan, so I'm interested just to see that. I, I'm one of the few people that thinks Ben Affleck can do a good job. Everyone hates him. Everyone likes to throw dead. I, I don't know. I don't know to give him a why chance, they're giving him such a hard time. I think it could be Daredevil, actually work. isn't it? And and yeah. that. J-Lo it, film. Well, it doesn't but matter. It's like, it was dead. Well, he's at... done loads of good films after mm. that. Yeah. You so... look at like a lot of the work that he did with um, um, I've Mad Damon. You know, you look at all the work that he did with him. A lot of that work it is amazing. He's got he can make such good chemistry with other people. If you know, and it's like you know, you you look at some films and you like you got two lead characters. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes one will overpower the other. But you look at films with Ben Affleck where he has to have share the main role yeah he, he he makes such good chemistry and he's fantastic at doing that and that's why i'm looking forward to batman v superman it's just to see that because we haven't really seen that in a super like in like a superhero film it's always been based on like wolverine in the x-men films let's be yeah. honest um and like you know deadpool is mainly going to be like deadpool in the past it's always been batman you know even in the in the uh, batman and robin film it was primarily George Clooney dealing with the partnership and trying to protect um, Dick Grayson, you know, it kind of felt like an overpowering role, whereas Ben Affleck generally, it's very much we're equals, you know, he might get more screen time or one might get the screen time, but the way he works from his side, it's always very balanced, and that's what I like seeing, it's quite refreshing to see that rather than just have dominant role surrounded by loads of support if that makes any sense. That's true, but they are, from the list we're getting, like, they're throwing Aquaman in there, if that's true, and they're getting Card- Wonder Card- Woman. Drogo. Um, and I've, there's been, like, reports that the actor for, was it Cyborg and maybe The Flash or something, I've heard. So, like, random cameos as well, just... What I'm like going to be people. interested about is we've got The Flash going on in the Arrowverse, so is this not going to, like... This, this, no. This no. The possibility no. of confusing between no. them. No, no. They're going to make I, an entirely new story. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the thing is, it's going to well. like, you know, so, I like watching, you know, it took me a while to actually get into They're going to be the Arrow. same person as well. Is it? They're, no, sorry, it's not the same different. actor. No, no, same yeah, I was going to say it's different. It's different actors. Same character. But the same character, actors. even though we've got multiple flashes that they could have like chosen. Quick, it's Quicksilver all over again. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... Except, well, except you know, we, we dealt with one of them, or Hawkeye did. Yeah. Probably the worst one of them properly. So it's like, which one should we kill? The, the bad one. There we go. What if they did like rock papers? Is like, who's gonna die? I think the um, kids, you know. I I don't know. Like, it looks the the uh, relationship between Batman and Superman looks interesting because it looks more like a kind of jokey buddy cop kind of thing more than like. Well, this is supposed series. to be based on the origins of it, isn't it? So yeah. that's gonna be. Interesting, because we've what we've had so many renditions of it now. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not, as well. 
a fan of the Lex. Like that seems a bit out of left field. Like Lex is now mean? Lex is now not a calculating cold character. Now he's like he's quirky and he like you know he seems you know, a bit. Do you not know who he's based off? I know he's based off. So he's, he's based it's... off Lex Luthor Junior. He's yeah. his son in Earth yeah. Two. So, so wait, that makes the character sense. nobody liked. Yeah. Or the character that, or that his dad actually killed. Or, or the character no one knows. Exactly. Yeah, That's exactly. Like, I mean, as a, in joke, it's like, ha, 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 isn't that funny? But, like, so Legends goes, they're going to be like, yeah, ha, he's, he's weird. Ha, ah, laugh. Unless that's the joke, is he's going to have some tragic backstory. Like, people thought I was weird and different, but now I will be accepted because I have a bald head. I <laughs> will be accepted for no hair. That's why I wear wig. There's a new, like, do, we know no dooms, do, doomsdays in it, and it's like, great, it's doomsday. Dark it. side. Is it Doomsday or Dark Side? No, like, Dooms, Doom, Dark I, Side's the guy from the uh, War World. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Is it bad Dark Side first time I've said his name right? I don't. I'm a dark seed. I want to say Dark Seed. Because <laughs> that is how it's spelled. You know, and it's like, oh, it's Dark Side. But it's like, I can't help it. The first time I saw it, I didn't watch much Justice League. I've never really been a fan of the Justice League. I've only recently started reading it. Because I want to read more, I want to get more in depth with, with with Batman. You know, I've never really bought comics. You know, I I read bits here and there. You know, I, I read the odd issue, but I, I love Hush, for example, which Russell knows. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I Batman Legends, which was like the occasional story here and there. It wasn't set in the chronological order when I, when I bought it and read it. You know, this this time I want to try and kind of get in from the beginning or beginning. Mm-hmm. And kind of get the timeline that it is now. Yeah. Um, it's it's interesting. It's a lot. It's interesting. I completely forgot what I started. The point I was trying to make. Dark side. Yeah, and it's like I read um, Justice League to get in to get more inside Batman. You know, maybe read it. You know, venture off a little bit more. And it's like reading it. It's like Dark Seed. Dark Seed. I've read it. Issue issue issue. Dark Seed. Dark Seed. I was like, I watched the I watched the film of the origins, and it's like. Dark side, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's dark, it's dark seed, and I read it, and in my head, I always say dark seed, but when I say it's like it's dark side, side, it just feels weird saying dark side. The DC, problem... sort yourselves out. The other problem I have is I'm scared that Wonder Woman's the already oh, that... just just jumping in, I'm like, I'm. If and they they like, like, like they've done like the big reveal sort of thing in the trailer. I'm just scared because it's where they've actually written a good Wonder Woman. Like in like they've done it like once or twice in like an entire. I don't know how long Wonder Woman's exist for, but I'm just scared. Like what? How they're going to characterize her? It's, I'm wondering how they're going to. Scary. You know, I'm wondering how they're going to insert the invisible plane. You know, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> going to be an interesting one. <laughs> I, I, don't, I doubt that's actually there because she doesn't even have the bracelets anymore. She has a shield. Yeah. So they're literally just going to... She's not got the bracelet. I've never even noticed if she doesn't have the bracelet. No, she has the shield. shield you see, remember, she's got the shield to stop that blast from uh, Interesting. Doomsday or whatever his uh, name but is. If it's... Spiky boy. I mean, Spiky if, she, if she spins well. around to like transform, that will be like amazing and I will laugh. Mm-hmm. Or like uh, a mocking, like a mocking J dress from Hunger Games. She spins, it sets on fire, and now she's Wonder Woman. No, 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 that's from the original Wonder Woman TV show. It's like Wonder Woman, and she spins around in a tornado, and that's how she transformed. With the lasso of uh, yeah, well, lasso. what is that lasso? Lasso of truth. I thought it, I was going for that, but yeah. Um, but it feels this is. I feel it's it's Batman versus Superman, but really it's. Justice League Part One. We're catching up to Avengers. Please give us money. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> here's the, here's the interesting thing, though. <laughs> Justice League is better than the Avengers. That's They're great. A more much rounded <laughs> team. So I'm just wondering in the long run how it is going to play out. That's because I think they've got much rounded team because they've actually got more people. A much they rounded were team. They were there, but, 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 then, but then again, they also have Superman. And Superman is not well rounded at all. Yeah, Superman is. I meant more well rounded in the, in the <laughs> characters. They've just got better characters. Well, so you're not got, getting but that. Then again, this, but then again, this I, is going to be I, like, like generic DC versus Marvel. So yes, this, are this, you, this do you think we're actually going to get that sort of thing? Because I think what, what we're really going to get JLA versus is, uh, is basically Avengers. I'm Batman. 
and I'm Superman and I'm brooding because I killed Zod. So I'm a little bit like Batman, but I'm not Batman. And I'm like, I'm Batman as well. And like, I'm Wonder Woman. I had a bit of a bad past as well. Uh, I'm not even a real and that's woman. That's all it's just going to be. I think it's just, I think they're all going to like, let's just bring it all back down to be like Batman. And there we go. Everyone's level. And they're going to have the same character. I'm the only thing I'm looking forward to in Wonder Woman, though. The only thing I'm looking forward to it isn't Gil Gadot, who I believe is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She looks the part. You know, well, 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 well done for her. I'm more looking forward to Chris Pratt. The last few years, he's impressed me so much like, as an actor. I'm just like, not, not Chris Pratt. Um, That's what I was saying. Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris Pine. Chris, Chris Pine. 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 Just like Chris Pine. Pratt, like Star no, no. Wars in this. <laughs> um, Chris Pine. I'm just looking forward to like seeing how he evolves in it now, because he's a big character with with Wonder Woman. Mm. So, but I've got a question for you two now, okay. like. Um, you know, we've got all the different story arcs now. We, you know, No Man's Land, Long Halloween, um, The Birth of Ultron. What what arc would you like to see into a film? Ooh, interesting. So, Marvel or DC, it doesn't matter. Can it be comic books or can it be animated as well? I think it should just either be or. Either or, really. either or, either or. Okay. Because okay. one of my favourite sagas was from the Justice League animated series, where it's the whole Lex running for president thing, and it is literally just Lex fucking up, fucking with Superman. But then Superman becomes more generic Superman issue then. Kind of, but then but Superman becomes like high aggressive in the fact that he always suspects that Lex is up to something. To the point where he's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not aggressive. But he always jumps to the conclusion that it's something bad. So then you have the conflict between Superman, who's trying to just think Lex is wrong all the time, and other heroes who are actually doing the job. And it's like, but he hasn't done anything wrong yet. Why are you jumping on his back? Like he's doing, he's he's changed. He's doing all this. And I think that was really interesting to see, like Superman to the end. But he's like, no, he's fucking. I'm gonna wreck all this shit because I think he's being bad. So it's painting Superman in a really bad light, but he has a fight with Captain Marvel near the end of it. And it's such you a mean, good fight. You mean Shazam, right? Shazam, oh. you mean. Captain Marvel. I like Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's Sh a better name. Sh 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 Shazam. <laughs> um, but they have a big fight, and obviously, because Shazam's magic, he can actually hurt Superman, so you actually have, like, a decent fight. There's <laughs> someone who's actually fight Superman properly, and it's over something so twee as... Uh, heroes acting in such a way that they're not gods. They're acting yeah. as judge, jury, and um, executioner. Yeah, executioner. And they're like, but you shouldn't do this because this is too much power. And there's actually fights and all sorts. And in the end, you do find out that Lex is just doing it just to be a dick. But it's still really good to see. And it's got the question in it, and I like the question. Yeah. So. <laughs> guy, uh, guy, the guy or girl question, I can't remember the names. Oh, the I guy. like Montoya. I like Montoya. Russell, I, what, what, would, right. what, what, what story arc would you have uh, as a film? It would have to be probably um, Secret Invasion. Oh. So with the Skrulls and the Fantastic Four as the main sort of characters. But we're never going to get that, ever. No. Ever. So I, I don't know why. Ne never say never. You can't, you know. Uh, true, but... We watched Fantastic Four. Uh, no, we didn't. I watched Fan Four Stick. What sorry, did you fan, watch? I, sorry, sorry. Watch Fan Four Stick. Sorry, the names are so similar. But yeah, I don't know. Like Fan Fan Four Stick did so terribly. It bombed. Like, can they make money off that license or the franchise still, or is it just like if they release anything with that name, it, nobody's going to see it? If it is unsellable, will they do a deal with Marvel and they'll? make some extortionate price so they can actually make some money out of it and then that will be the incentive as Marvel gets licensed back because the second we get Doom, Galactus and Reed we can do a lot of storylines mm -hmm. but up until then like we're kind of like there's a lot we can do but we're kind of restricted not having Reed and Doom because they do like because they're like smartest two people in Marvel they do open a lot of doors mm. especially Doom they need, I, I they, want, they need to bring Doom right. they, they need really to bring Doom so badly to be done right and be he's such a big villain in the Marvel yes. universe and he's just squandered he's just thrown just yeah. about just like and and he's there with the fantastic four and 
He got his powers at the same time. We've got to, got to have that connection and that destiny because they're, <laughs> they're just immortal enemies from the beginning. It's just like, oh, just stop destinifying everything. Just stop it. See, see one thing I'd like to see in the um, MCU is uh, Mr. Fantastic creating his mathematics that predicts the future. I'd just uh... love... Just love to see them try and input that because that was hilarious. I have no idea what you're talking about. He I've not seen that. that. I've he, not heard about this. He 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 creates his own mathematics. As you do. That can predict time, and it works. I can't remember what event he predicts, but yeah, that that happens. Wow. <laughs> And, well, what do they do? and what do they do with that? They just like... Oh, I can't remember. It's just like, the universe will probably imploded well, twice. Like, like, literally still. just like, well, we can't have this. Better just burn it and just burn the whiteboard it's on. Is that what, is that what they do? <laughs> just burn the Mayan calendar. <laughs> <laughs> just like, uh, this, this, this is going to be really awkward because everything's here. Let's just get rid of this. <laughs> a bit awkward to have this lying about. No, I think, like, but um, as for me and my story, I would just love... To see them try and do war games. Why is war games? Read that. Okay. What's war games? War games is um, Batman. Mm-hmm. Where at this point Tim Drake's left, but left now because his father doesn't want him being Robin anymore. Okay. He's scared for his son and he wants him to leave, so he does. But Stephanie Brown, our spoiler, wants to be Robin. Mm-hmm. So for a trial period. Uh, the fourth Robin is Stephanie Brown. Right. Okay. Try and win Tim back because they've broke up at this point. And basically, Batman's like, you know, she's trying her best, she's pushing herself, but she's not really. At this point, Batman doesn't want another Robin. He doesn't mm-hmm. want one, and but he's still giving Stephanie that chance. And she's not really hitting it. And he goes like, um, "I've got one rule and one rule only: you follow my lead, you do as I say. You fail this, you're gone." Yeah. And on one mission, she comes down, um, saves Batman, but he gave her direct orders to stay on the Batjet. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, well, you saved my life, but I gave you an order, you know, and you disobeyed that. So you've got to the end of the day, get get your shit and get gone. Mm-hmm. And she's going through the file because she really wants it. She wants this with such a passion, and she goes through uh, what. What what uh, Bruce has? He has like a, he has he has plans. He's got plans in place where if he ever like contingency plans, but the you know the worst case scenario contingencies. Yeah. And she gets one that's called War Games, which is uh, Batman's plan of if he ever needed to, he takes control of the city. Oh um, right, okay. And, and you know it starts off where she starts implementing this. And, like, the mob bosses start turning on each other and the mob bosses meet up. And it dawns on him, like, there's one person missing, which is matches Malone. Mm-hmm. And then it dawns on him, it's like, why, why is he not here? So, because, uh, spoiler at this point, she's going back to spoil and she's following it. And it all goes to shit, all the mob bosses kill each other. The city goes into complete anarchy. And uh, Black Skull, Black Mask, sorry, comes in. And the city just goes into complete war. Like, absolute gang warfare. And eventually, Batman suddenly concludes, hang on, this plan, everything's happened as I worked, as, as this all seems familiar. Then it dawns on him, shit, this is my plan. Matches Malone should have been at said meeting. Fuck. So at this point, the city's completely gone now. And at the end of it, like, Stephanie dies. Um, as, as, as you do with... Lazarus Pritz and stuff like that. No, it, it, it got it. Got to explain later on what happened. Um, like in, in, in the in the um, epilogue, war crimes. You know, it said you know you let Stephanie die as a point because um, I've got a bloody name now. So uh, Leslie Thompson's like you know I don't like this superheroes. I don't like the metahumans. I will help you. I'm your friend. But you guys, you know, you're dying and I'm getting sick of it. So it's kind of claimed that she let Stephanie die. She didn't do her best to save her. And it's like, fuck off, you're exiled. Later turns out, like, 
she saved her, but she sent her away to Africa somewhere to kind of make the point. And it just kind of like Black Mask comes back in it. It's followed by uh, Red Hood's um, debut. It's just a really well written story. Like everyone at the whole thing, warfare, you've got like um, Premier. Uh, I think Hush at some point returns, like towards the end. The clock tower's found where the Oracle is. She gets beat the shit out of by Black Mask. Um, it's, re- it's just really like it's a massive story, and I love it. It sounds like you have to do a lot of character and world building to kind of pull it off, though. Mm. It sounds like a series sort of thing. You need that would be a season. Yeah, it would like make Batman. an amazing series. Like Cause if, for starters, Batman you need to explain season. Oracle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, and that and that's one thing that I would like to see in well, the uh, Killing Joke. The Killing Joke would be well, which they are doing yeah, as the animated it. thing. So I'm yeah. I'm pretty hyped for that to be honest. Because uh, that's going to completely change uh, how people like really see Batman. Mm. It's, it's it's really really you know demented what uh, the Joker actually does in that. Uh, just you know just as Joker does, and it's going to be it'll be really cool. Do we know because 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 at the moment Batman's like. Especially with the movies and the uh, Nolan thing, you don't really get that to that level. You don't really go lower than that. It's just it's this this I... level of we're going to save the city now. Yeah, we're going to do that twice. <laughs> as long and... as we get another, as long as we never get another Heath Ledger Joker, you... I just so that's oh yeah, that's that's the thing now. You can't do Joker like anything like him because it was shit. He was shit. Yeah, I hate it. I wow, controversy! Hate, Actual absolutely controversy. hate Heath Ledger's portrayal. Every he nerd, everyone, villain. everyone watching this podcast is like raging at you right now for saying controversy such a creates thing. cash, guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I, I couldn't stand him. I absolutely hated his portrayal of Joker. I mean, okay, granted, there are many sides of the Joker. You know, we're never going to nail them all in one. But I, just, I, I he played a great villain. Great. But as for Joker, I thought it was the worst, absolute worst betrayal of him. So we, uh, it just made no sense. So worse you, than sorry. the uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah. The, the, what do you think of the new Joker then? Uh, just, just what you've seen the pictures of it. It's, what? It looks like he's trying to be Heath Ledger. He's got that little bit of a. I'm gonna really hurt. Really? I want really? damaged on my forehead. That's I'm, I'm what it's like. Here, uh, yeah. Surrounded by knives. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, it, it, I can see what you're saying. He's a little bit heathy, but I... I yeah, heathy. He heathy. wants to make He's the role heathy. his own. Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's what you, any actor does that. You've got mm. to make... You know, you, you look at past roles who people have portrayed it, and, you know, you don't try to tarnish what they've done, but you've got to... You make you, the role yours. That's incredible. And I get that. I get that. Character like that, do that. that. But for the Joker, Joker's it's never going to be hard. Done. The Joker's never going to be done right. But I just always, I, I just hate Heath Ledger's portrayal. I just think it was a joke. <laughs> Great for a villain, you know. Maybe, maybe that was his plan all along. <laughs> was he the real Joker? <laughs> I just, I just don't like Heath Ledger's portrayal in it. Okay, that's that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that from you, but here we are. But what about the damaged on his tattoo on uh, Jared Leto? Because forehead? I'm all messed up. Because <laughs> I'm all messed up. I want damaged on my forehead. I, and the ha ha has and stuff, all that sort of stuff. What do you, what do you think about that? I'd, I'd have to see it before I can give like my final opinion. But I'm just, it'll be interesting. But the whole J on his on it, the thing I'm most is the J on his cheek. Yeah. And. The J oh, on yeah. seen this theory on 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 Jason Todd in Arkham Knight. It's just yeah. it, really you're gonna oh, go so down you, that you think path? They, yeah they're gonna do that straight away. Yeah. You know it's like Jay, they did they did it with Jason Todd in Batman of the Future. Yeah. It's just like yeah. you just really want to turn Robin into into Joker. If you want to do that's that, a problem that's... with the DC movies at the moment is they to catch to make this JLA series they are jumping in at the deep end with a lot of lore so literally we're jumping in with characters and then we're going to get movies later on explaining the backstory rather mm. than the Marvel method where it was we're going to give you the backstory and then we'll move on to them 
being the Avengers. Yeah. yeah. That's what it feels like they're doing. They're doing it in reverse. Yeah. But at this point, they have to. They have to do catch up. They yeah. can't. Because the, the, you know, the superhero, like, boom that we're in, it might burst midway. Yeah. We're like, we're about to hit, do the Walt Justice League. Run. And, yeah, and they might, like, it might be coming exactly to the point where they're going to do the first Justice League movie and everyone doesn't care after, after yeah. that. Yeah. And it yeah, just, could moment, just bomb. Like, it could just bomb. The moment it's the money maker. I mean, how, many, how much Avengers stuff is out there now? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, like, that is the, mer- that's the superhero merchandise at the moment. What's interesting is that you've got this split kind of where Marvel at the moment are making better films, but DC are getting the, the, the TV series down down yes. to a T. Yes. Now they're doing them so much better, like Gotham, Arrow. They're, they're on fire with them, whereas like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I watched bits of that and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? But saying that, I, I watched Jessica Jones and I was happy with that. See, I've not seen Jessica Jones yet, but she's the first Marvel yeah. to, to say fuck. Oh really? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That is a super power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Captain America wasn't around to censor her either. <laughs> uh, so I, I really like Daredevil. I'm really hyped for season two. I actually need to oh. finish watching that. Yeah. So, so it's on a backlog of things I've got to. Yeah, aren't we all on a backlog of things we have to do? And there's just so much I'm, media to consume. There is, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm in the middle of going through Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm in the middle of going through Game of Thrones, getting ready for the next uh, season. Oh. Um, I've currently started watching South Park because a little bit of thing. I, I've never really liked South Park, but I thought, make the choice, I'll sit down and give it a try. Um, but the most recent know, season is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and I'm starting at season one, so I've got a long time before I get. To You're that. starting on season one. I think you yeah. should. I think you should just watch like the last two seasons. No, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way through it. It change. It's it's so weird how it changes, it evolves yeah. over time through the seasons. That's, that's then that shouldn't shouldn't you go through that then to appreciate the series? It's like it's all well saying, you know, I love X X X series X Y Z, but. So you know, there could be references she... in that to the previous ones. Wait, like so for example, adding West Batman to get ready for uh, Batman versus Superman, or what? Don't don't say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I grew up with the, I grew up with Batman, the '66 version. Yeah. I grew up with Batman and Crystal Maze when I was a young kid. Channel oh Four. Oh my God, was Crystal my Maze. Life. The Crystal Maze. How, how did you bring that up so randomly? Like, yes. because that because them two together were my Sundays. <laughs> so were they shown as, as, a, to... as very young? Were they shown together at that point? Uh, I believe they were shown like a program in between. But yeah, every Sunday was wow. Crystal Maze and Batman. Batman was at half four. I remember that. <laughs> this this must have been a pivotal moment in your life. Yeah. Like, yep. I grew up half and, four. It's like um, five years growing... old, half four. Batman. Growing up, just watching Adam West because back then it wasn't as dark, but it, it was. Mm. It, I loved watching it. Yeah. And you know, I'm I'm gonna sound like a little bit of a hypocrite saying this, but it's like uh, Cesar Romero's Joker, and I loved it. I feel like the Joker for that time was was spot on. You know, I, I loved. You know, and God knows what she looks like now, but you know, Batgirl, that that purple suit. Batgirl? Not Catwoman? No, Batgirl. Batgirl? Bat- Batgirl was in it. She wore, she wore purple. Oh. I thought that was like a normal suit. was purple and yellow. Is that not... It was like black and yellow now, but back then it was purple. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I thought, I've always seen it, it as purple, purple. Well, I'm gonna purple and yellow. Chat that, I'll chat that up while I'm doing this. But yeah, it was like growing, uh, growing up on, um, on, on there on Channel 4. You gone back in time so far. Like most people don't, I probably that are probably watching this now. Probably not born. I'm not. Yeah, yeah I can't, not pur- even know about like it. Purple, like gold, purple and gold. Like she wore back then. Bling. Because I remember she had a purple motorcycle. Because it was old. Oh, it was. Uh, yeah. It was really old back then when they just like, oh, just throw anything on. We don't have enough money. To just, just throw anything on on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. And then. Because you know it's sixty six at that point. You know this, you you were like growing up in the nineties. That's thirty years nearly. Yeah. yeah. So it it was old. It was well, old and cheesy then. Series as well. Pardon? 
And at that point as well, I've also got the Batman. This is where my... Oh, stem, yeah. Batman, I, the, the, the Batman animated series Batman is amazing. That's yeah. like a, a pivotal point in anyone's 90s upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. I, really watched, I watched the Spider-Man cartoon and the Batman animated series. I was like, that was it. But, <laughs> yeah. Interesting facts about the Batman animated series. It was the first children's cartoon to feature guns firing at other humans. Really? Yeah. I imagine that's well, probably that because it was quiet. so early before they got restrictions in place i would assume i can't remember now nowadays you don't get that now nowadays yeah. it's all because it happened during oh. spider-man's run the spider-man's the spectacular spider-man in the middle of that run they got the hit with the sensor that's why jj doesn't have a cigar they don't have guns and they can't say kill so okay. that happened in batman in spectacular spider-man so i'm guessing that might have contributed to that um censorship probably yeah, I can't even remember how we got onto this. Well, yeah, we'll catch up on media, won't we? Media yeah. Catch up on. yeah well, like... What media have you been consuming now, then, like, in the last few days? I know you, you've been watching Game of Thrones and South Park, but what about you, Max? What have you been, uh, what you been, what have you been digesting? On? Yeah, what have you been binging on? I've not binged on that. I just go on YouTube and watch stupid stuff. <laughs> that's not as, my, as, that's as, my... as is the way of any millennial at this point, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, got to get home and got to watch my YouTube subs. You know, it's it's this day, so these are out. Yeah. Got to watch them. It's it's really weird how uh, media's changed now. From remember when you were a kid, you're like, come on, cartoons. I got to got that little bit that Saturday yeah. morning. Got to wake up early for Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday morning, you go. Eight o'clock. Yeah, have my pizza cats. So shut up. I was up way before that. I I started at the six o'clock. Have to watch everything. It was like, Barney came on and watching that. It's a purple dinosaur and acid. Gotta watch that. Uh, <laughs> we had a what was it called? Like at that point, dig it. You remember dig it? Oh, I didn't. Recess? I, yeah, I had recess. So uh-huh. oh, God, that was recess. like a Disney thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So that was the Disney sort yeah. of like the Disney show, but in the uh, like, in the, like uh, early teens attempt at grabbing that mm-hmm. audience. Yeah. So I remember that. So you've not been watching anything. No, I've been playing Blade and Soul, but that's now boring. <laughs> so it's been like two weeks, so it's literally as long as I anticipated it actually being, you know, relevant for. It's like this game come out. Oh yay, let's play it. Oh, it's actually not great. So, hey. yeah. <laughs> so I've been um, I've been watching Digimon, uh, Digimon Adventure. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So I've watched like. Because every other, every other night, Russell's asking Max, uh, "Tell me, did you want more?" I'm like, "It's ma- <laughs> what do I nothing. <laughs> nothing is actually explained in the show about the law. You're just in the digital world. That's all you need to know. And then they just reference like little things. I'm like, well, I, I I know about like these royal knights. What does that have to do? And then I just see, I was just like, you just scroll through like different Digimon. I'm like. <laughs> This one is a digital evolution of this, this, and this great being, and they just slam it together, and it's like the most See, the way, powerful Digimon. That, I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the, way, the way we've spoken about Digimon, I thought you actually knew, like, Digimon, like the Digimon series is in Digimon lore. I thought you would have known, like... No, that's, that's me. I'm the rebel. I'm the rebel. No, he's, he's the more Digimon, Digimon fan. Uh, so I've been catching up, basically, well, from the start, because I know um, I'm for Cyber Sleuth, which is out, well... This Friday. Now. Any second. Any yeah, second it's fr- coming this, this to This Friday it comes yeah. out, like, I'll two days. That's because of Try, and Try is, like, relevant now. Oh, yeah, Try. The D- Digimon Try. So I've been, like, watching one, two, uh, halfway through two, and uh, is it watch in Try. Or is it Try. It's not sub. in dub. It's just a sub. Still sub. You can watch oh, wait for the sub. I don't, like watch, I don't like watching sub. I'd rather watch dub. <gasps> not believe her. <laughs> well, no. It, no, I, like... I, I think he's right. Uh, at some point, I just can't be bothered anymore. Just... I've I've done the whole sub thing when I was younger. Yeah. I'm an adult now. I need to I need to just have my my, my downtime. My shut my brain off. I don't need to read. Like, I read every day constantly. You know. Did you watch? Do the everything. Dubbed or subbed? I watched it subbed. Ah. Uh, because it's not out and dubbed, <laughs> is it? Uh, is it? Is it dubbed? I'm surprised. Try. Right. Did you want to try? We've just said it's not. No, dubbed. Madoka. What the? What's he talking about Madoka for? What are you talking about? What? Did, did, we watch it, did we watch it subbed or dubbed? Did we watch it subbed or dubbed, Madoka? Um, yeah. You just said you don't watch subs, and I'm pretty sure we watched Madoka subbed. 
I think it's because it's better that one that that series is actually better. Uh, so there's there's different things. I mean, but we were watching it. But well, that's like, the point I was trying to get to. Oh, it okay. depends on the series. It it could could very well do that. Um, well, depend on how well they try. They... But it it it's just it's it's getting better anyway. The uh, mm. the dubs now anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. If it's just a general trend of going a better quality now anyway. So if it's in dubbed, and I know, like, Slate and I, I just want to binge watch. I don't want to just, like, you know, especially scenes where they've got, like, the TV on and then two characters are talking. I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? There's so many there's so many words on screen. There's three lines. Just what if you just stop? You have to, like, pause it. Just like, okay, all right. Okay, that's about what's on the TV. And they're just like, oh, shit, it's not even coloured. I'm watching... Uh, <laughs> I'm watching oh, like oh. fast subs or something, so everything's just black and white. Like, who's who's this? What's ha- this happening here? It's just like that's that's what another reason why you you can just zone out just a little bit more. That's it's more fair. it's more about just because we're older and we're lazy. Yeah, yeah. So you been watching um, what's that new anime called? Uh, uh, Asterix Wars. That should be great dubbed, right? Right. Uh, I think it could only improve that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the series. We made it better, guys. Yeah, Miles is like, "What the hell are you two going on about?" <laughs> yeah, just like, I have no idea. idea. What is this? My, 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 I'll, I'll be honest. My, my anime, like resume, like re- resume. Yeah, we'll call it resume. Um, CV. It, it, it's it's quite limited, you know. I do enjoy anime. I'm not saying I don't, but it's like I was never really brought up in that community yeah. kind of um thing so i kind of found the ones that i've watched that i've liked and kind of stuck with them like big o for example is my favorite anime but the anime is like chevalier de leon which is is, is rock hard to find mm-hmm. you know and obviously big ones like naruto you know i might like give yeah hate comments i'm expecting them you know um but it's like i'm trying now i'm, I'm trying now to expand more and Enjoy them like I recently just started watching uh, Capellian and uh, Chaker the Coffin Princess. You're, you're literally, watch... I've never heard of most of these that you're just I'm literally, I'm literally to going me. through HMV and just I'm judging a book by its cover at this point. <laughs> oh, like, this, oh this, the best this, way to judge everything. And, but I think I think that's like that, that's going to be the best way to find things and kind of for, for, for this is, my. This is how thing. you did anime in bloody year 1998. When yeah, you that's to go that's and find VHS Okay, what it's is like this? badly described yeah. or watching late night cartoon network in the early 2000s but exactly. i'm just trying to i'm just, i'm doing that to myself now to find it might it might be crap i might waste 20 quid on a piece of shit but well it's actually not it's not actually even that anymore it's like to get a whole big series it's like yeah. 90 quid on blu-ray that's why i want to try and go for only smaller ones instead of yeah. like the only big one I follow is Naruto, so I'm getting like this. Uh, probably even Yu-Gi-Oh as well, but if I'm just getting the box sets when they come. Instead of getting each individual box set, I'm getting the seasons that come out for Naruto and just watching them. Mm-hmm. Although with the amount of fillers that are coming out recently, I'm just thinking to myself, is it going to be fucking worth it? Well, it's uh, finished out. Yeah, I mean, no. Sorry, sorry. The manga has. Yeah, the manga. They're doing the movie last year. But yeah, yeah. Does hasn't it finished? for TV as well because they've done the movie. No. What? They're probably... I, there's going to be at least another two years of of episodes, at least. That's how far they are. And you've got to think about how much they love their filler. Everyone you'd loves like, a good filler. Like it, we, we're going to be... Yeah, we're... A I, good thought, I honestly thought they've stopped it now. Like The only one left is One Piece and that's it. Nope. Dragon Ball's back. Cat. Oh god, no! That's not even. <laughs> that's not even anime. I just like. I just couldn't be bothered watching it. I've read, the, I've read the manga. The manga's not bad. There's a Dragon Ball Z Super. Or manga, Super... yeah. Okay. Like and like Toriyama's doing the art. like, oh. it can't be any worse than the anime. <laughs> like, Is it really that just... bad? Is it really that bad? You've seen that yeah. Goku opening where it's all the bad art from the Beerus fights. Yeah. That was that was amazing. Just like, as a general disclaimer, like I don't like Dragon Ball. <gasps> I tried watching it. I tried. So keep your justifications or judgments or whatever. I, I just You go girl. I, I just couldn't get into it. 
enough. Right, so here's another thing. I've only watched Dragon Ball Z Kai because I knew about all the filler that right. was actually in Dragon Ball. I was like, well, obviously I'll watch Kai because they've redone the animation, more well, sort of, and uh, you know, cleaned up a little bit and compressed the story. So I watched like the first few seasons of that and then uh, basically the stuff about Gohan being older, I've actually not seen any most of that yet. So I've not actually I've not actually seen the Boo saga. But... The most I've seen of Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball Abridged. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much I've watched. That's honestly couldn't... that's 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 not the actually... worst place, honestly. Yeah, that's actually the thing that actually got me to watch the full Dragon Ball. Well, I've tried because I was like, what the hell is actually like going on? Ahead and no, didn't do it for me. And you know the fact that it's kind of the staple anime like I, I feel like you've got to watch it's like no i well, really I, I think and now it's like a it was a staple anime produce. at its time like there's yeah, been series now, before it that were considered the staple anime they had like yu yu yeah, haka show like... and stuff like that yeah like they but were rather... the at that time but this is just how it's moved on like now dragon ball's mostly a joke well i think the reason you dislike it so much is because it's literally uh the superman of japan and you dislike <laughs> superman so therefore, you must dislike Goku. So that's a good possibility. It's a probably good possibility. Because he does, he right. just like, at least he trains for it though. At least he actually works for it. Superman is just, I am. See, now I'd be really interested to see you watch uh, One Punch Man. Is that uh, no, I've, 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 read, I've heard about this it. and I, I know like it's about the meta and all about the characters about it. So, I yeah. But like, there's, a, like, there's, a, like, there's a big difference because in One Punch Man, he, it's they, satire. They, it's satire, and they take the piss out of stuff like Dragon Ball. So it's like, no, oh, I've got to train and I've got which to do everything. Which originally, which was what Naruto was, it was it was uh, originally created as like a joke to anime itself, and then it became anime itself. A lot more serious. It than... lived long enough to become the villain. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's like I don't like watching. Like long progressive ones, that's why I said like I stick with Naruto. It's like I'd rather watch, I'd rather go into like um, HMV, buy a box that like a complete series or something. Like Death Note is just twenty six episodes or you know something like yeah. that. Because you can sit there, you can binge watch it. You don't have to wait for more, or you know like with with Big O, you can just watch it on loop because that's <laughs> what it is. Spoiler. Oh, okay. Thank, thanks, I've not seen that. We could have you haven't watched, watched that. Video. No, I don't know what. That was like my big introduction to anime, and I've loved it. <laughs> this is since. like this is how much we yes. go. <laughs> I, I went to Southampton. <laughs> I, right, it's me. I was at a Southampton regional a couple of years ago, running it, and on my like it was going. The whole event was going to up. Not my fault. And I, I just like, just, I just to, explain what to... event you were running in case people don't actually know what you're talking about because you said um, I regional. was running a Yu-Gi-Oh regional. Okay, there um, we go. That's, um, what, that's what I wanted. And I was like, you know, I need I need a short break. CX is right there. <laughs> um, and I was like, I was just like the wrestling DVDs right next to the anime one. So I'm like, I am right now. I am as relaxed as I can be. And I just looked down. I saw. My favorite WrestleMania 17, yeah. and right next to that was that big old box, set and I was like, "Take my money right now!" And I just, I, I was happy for the rest of the day because it's like I found that. But just to clarify, that's only the first half of Big Oak because yeah. Part Two only came out in America. That's really weird. It's so annoying. And it's so really expensive as Japan, well. It's like seven. Like Part Two is like seventy quid. And that's for an American version as well. So it's like so we can order work. it, but we can't even really watch it. Well, Whereas part computer. one's like, hmm? you can watch it on your computer. Yeah, but I have to change my settings on that, and that just means like effort. And you can only do that a certain amount of times as well. But it's just like, you know, a lot of the better stuff happens in in, in part two. Like you find a lot more of the giant yeah. mechas in it. A lot more stories kind of explained, and everything from part one falls into place. So that's why I like watching kind of set small ones because the story's there. You okay. can enjoy yeah. the story. That's that's the reason I I enjoy anime more. Is is it's uh, everything's pretty much contained by itself. Yeah. Except for now when they go here's season two, 
But, you know, at least that's not as bad as just the continuous run yeah. of and filler. Like, like Naruto. Which, like, Naruto like, like Naruto's yeah. now, it's like you've got filler every other in day, and it's like, I didn't really sign up to watch filler. Yeah, so, well, so, enemies now, though, are, a lot, are becoming a lot shorter. Usually because oh, yeah. production, good. production well, that, values are becoming higher, so they have to fit. That's the reason, though, because what Half happened was titles. we have, like, this sum of money we have to spend this year, mm. and they've gone... Right, we need 50 episodes uh, this year, basically, and we've not actually got enough story, and we need to stretch this money out on 50. Oh, it's getting really thin. Oh, the budget looks shit. But, like, this right, is now that, like, and that's, 12 that's, that's episodes, just 24 episodes. For, like, all the 2000s, we had a yeah. lot of a lot of these long, long stretch stories with filler arcs, just literally a whole year of filler arc, which doesn't make any sense and doesn't. Like, let's give people powers, and then, oh, it doesn't actually matter, because we need to take yes. them away. Uh, but we also know this character's not going to die, because people at this point probably knew stuff was filler, and therefore it takes away all uh, all shock value, or, you know, it's like, um, Ichigo, I mean... it's whatever from Bleach, is, he's not going to die, so what's the point? And all tension's lost. Well, it's like 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 Big O, for example, has filler episodes. It's very yeah. hard to find an anime that doesn't have like the one standalone episode. And it's like, again, kind of contradicts what I said. It's like they're fine. But it's when you make a ginormous arc, then another arc following that, just kind of it just kind of devalues it a little bit, and you just lose interest. And a point when you you just you stop watching it for a while, and then you jump back in. It's like, oh, hang on, I've missed a few episodes here. I'm so now we'll back on the main story, mm-hmm. but you've kind of missed where it's it's joined back back into the main story. That's it's... one of the big problems with trying to watch One Piece. Like I'm up to date with the manga, and that's like great for me, but I wouldn't wish hell on earth to any newcomer. Like I'm going to get into One Piece. Yeah, I'm I was only six hundred volumes behind. I was considering that, and then I was like, no, I follow Naruto, and that's kind of a headache enough. It's uh, it's quite scary there. Right. Well, next segment. I think we need to. <laughs> for, for, we're talking about media. Let's actually do our media time. So, oh, well. ooh, media ooh. time. Ooh, what's all that? I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. So let me uh, get a dice. And let's randomly pick one of these bad boys. But no, I thought I thought we agreed it was going to be whoever the host was this week, which we knew it was going to be one of theirs. We sort of started weirdly. So are you saying it should be Dangaropa? Because that's what the re-roll here is for, and we've got people's choices. I wanted to be random, unless we could like force it, like. And this is things. all improvised, by the way. Just yeah, oh yeah, we it. we we. Wait, just... This is buttons. <laughs> random? I'll say I think random adds an element uh, something spontaneous, I guess. Yeah, let's just get let, let me get a dice. Do it. I've also I've got, a on one I've got no idea about. Just... Oh, well, that's 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 the, that's why it's fun, because like we have to watch stuff we don't have a clue about. I thought I had like the dice prepared, like you'd be like, ah here's my dice. A Pokemon player and you don't have dice around. Russell, sort your life out. It, well, it's not. I, I, it's literally over there. You have to do critical role now. Right, <laughs> you, I, so do I, I, right. You're gonna believe me, or no, do you have, want I need, to see? I need it? to see. I need to need see to this see live. Right. Okay, let me. Let me. Yes. Why don't you bring a random number generator on the like something? Uh, random number generators aren't really that random. That's why uh, I don't like it. Trust them more than your dice rolls. I've played against you. <laughs> oh. Fucking bushy deck. You see that? That's 18. I can't see anything. Right. Is it 18? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's 18. Oh, my okay. looks like a... That's Max's <laughs> choice. Max is like, yeah, that's definitely 18. That's Max's choice. Max? Yes? That's your choice. Oh, is it my choice of one of these? Or... It's my your choice. choice. Any, any... Just, like... It's just your choice of what we talk about. <laughs> it's oh. just your, your choice. I thought you watch. Yeah. Uh. 
I think it, it's, you should really pick your own thing or something. Nah, that sounds that sounds boring. Okay. Okay, I'll pick one of me. I'll pick Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't expecting you to say that at all. Well, you can pick someone all, else. All the others are like. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we can't... Talk about your own choices, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm talking about your choices. <laughs> My choices are great. Although I noticed when I wrote mine, I have a like slight um, like Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> yeah, just like I was like, this is this is uh, missing uh, the Extendables. <laughs> I've changed my mind. We're going to talk about Hero because that's worth talking about. Hero. Yes. Okay. Because that's worth talking about. That is. Yeah. Have you guys have uh, you seen it, Miles? Hero. Nope. You're going to be amazed, right? Get ready for amazement. It, honestly, what, it's, it's, it's that what is it, what is it? Are we just watching like a trailer or something of it? Or... No. We, the... After this, you got one this week. This is homework. This is homework. you got one week, you're going to watch it, and then we're going to talk about it. Right, because I'm like so confused as to what this whole layout is. We're going to talk about this later. And it's just, I'm so confused. <laughs> And I've got like, no drink if, left. If you watch it now, we'd be infringing on several copyrights. And uh, it would take a while. Yeah. Unless you just watch a black screen and people just listen to it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Let's see how Matt can describe this film <laughs> frame by frame. There's a guy. There's a guy. Uh, that Asian guy's got a sword. <laughs> that Asian guy's got a sword. That's pretty cool. Are you describing like half of like the world <laughs> theatre? <laughs> Not being racist. <laughs> I don't know how much of the Asian did have swords on them at all times. You can so also, you uh, so you're choosing Hero, what would yeah. you like to put in its place for next time, if you have one on oh, hand? Can I, just, can I pick that next time? You can pick it next time. Oh, okay. I think okay. that's how we, so once we've done it, then we fill the slot in. Yeah. So that, then that's something surprising. It. Okay. I mean, obviously, if you know you've got something yeah. in mind, you can put straight in, but yeah. Okay. Okay. It was it was a pretty good movie. You'll uh, you'll like it, Miles. No, who's in it? Jet Li. Come on, man. Oh, it's... I might have seen it. It came out in, like early two thousands. Yes. Yeah. I think I've seen it. Okay. You probably have. But it was like probably... a long time ago. The only film of his I remember around then was uh, the One. No. Oh. Mhm. Mm I what love one? the Matrix. What was that? What I was that face then when I mentioned the One? I saw that. And I saw that surprising, disapproving look. <laughs> Pointing at me was amazing. Who? What? And Probably the soundtrack great. on the one was oh, just lost some points there, Max. About <laughs> a, sco a score counter right there, you'd be on minus one. That's all I want. I want a minus one, like here. You've but... actually you're actually much higher than that. You're on about plus twenty at the moment, Max. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so don't worry. Yeah, that you heard. You can't control what points Max gets. Only I, can do, only I can. can do that. But I'm the host of can. <laughs> True. So if you when you are did... the editor. Hang on. Oh yeah, I'm the editor. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, yeah, so we're actually going to change hosts. So every show is going to have like a, a different vibe to it. Down to two. <laughs> He's tried so hard. Look at that guy. Look at that scrub there! This guy! Can you, I wonder if he can actually hear us just bad Yeah, he can hear us. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. That's the way I like it. Let's just mute that guy. Well, oh, it's working on mine. No, whoa, 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 whoa! The Raptor yeah. Slev and Jesus combo was perfect. Why would you spoil that? <laughs> well, on the same thing, it was appearing on my settings, so I don't understand... Uh... There's all that hair. Get out. Lesson, kids, is don't rub your microphone on your beard, yeah. especially the women. Know. That's that's all that that's 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 all we've learned. It's like it just ruins things. Because podcasts and everything. Uh, yeah, exactly. Especially podcasts, especially episode ones of podcasts. Can only get better from here. Uh, I I, well, I, I I'm, this... I'm not so so sure about that. <laughs> Statistically, <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell statistically correctly. Welcome <laughs> to What's our this? best episode ever. But statistically, this is actually the best. Right? So One day people will look back on this and 
laugh. Who's I people? Cringe. I think I think most likely they'll just cringe. Just just this, this whole thing, they'll probably Definitely. cringe. Out. We shall we put ourselves in like three years time. This this episode on cringe factor. The reunion. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a long episode of cringe factor. <laughs> Worth it. It's gonna be so meta though. <laughs> it's like this guy didn't even know anything about was it the O? Look at this guy. I'll be me, and I'll probably watch the O in that time. That looks like you, no. just like you don't know anything about Dangan Romper, but you will. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But you guys don't know anything about Gundam, but you will. Yes, but you will. Robots. This 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 anime is even named after something from Gundam. Uh, is it about some guy who goes, ah, gum, damn! And that's, he throws his gum away. And that's yeah, he, 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 he really... damn this gun! <laughs> gum, damn! Oh, get away from he, he really doesn't like a fresh mouth. Yeah, that's exactly, uh, what, exactly what? what it is. You just said fresh mouth. You don't like what? A fresh minty mouth that gum leaves. Gum. G -o -m -m. You like fresh minty mouths, B. That's all I'm getting from this. <laughs> is, it, is it the burning essence you like? Right. We have, we have a Who doesn't like it? <laughs> would, you, would you not like a fresh minty mouth? It, it depends on the context. I don't want to kiss a smoker. In most contexts, a fresh minty mouth is pretty good. <laughs> not if you're allergic to mint, no. Well, you know. As I've cringe. had experiences with in the past, that just isn't pleasant. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Story time. Right. What, how did you discover that you were allergic to mint? Um, no, I, I'm not allergic to mint. I'm a, oh. the only thing as far oh, as just, I'm just allergic to breath. is, um, I'm Go actually on. allergic to uh, Old Spice shower gel. Really? But no, um, I had an ex-girlfriend who was allergic to mint, and um, she developed it over time, and yeah. Like, it's just like, every time I just chew this gum... No, I, it, I was from, no it, was, it was from. <laughs> Maybe it was, it was. It was not puppets. her. Pop, Maybe she was the one who made Gundam, and every time she had mint, she goes, "Gum down, oh no, get it away, gum down." Let me see. No, I don't think so. Killed it. You're not really. Yeah, right? that's how you do. It. Nah, nah. Don't think so. You don't know. No, I don't think so. You don't think so. I'll have to check that on Wikipedia. <sighs> you know that's just full of lies and slander, Wikipedia. <laughs> It's full of lies and slander and A levels. Yeah, A levels. A levels. Oh yes, no, that that is literally. Yeah, every... <laughs> Wikipedia wrote uh, wrote everything I know. Oh well. <laughs> so I think it's time, guys. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, I think we've. I, uh... I think we've uh, established a base level of uh, terribleness. We're all idiots. We don't know what we we're know. doing. Oh. Welcome to the show. I think that's all we need. Just build it from there. <laughs> Miles, where can people reach out to you if they want to reach out to you? Um, I'm in the middle of actually creating a Facebook page. Um, I have another project in the works, which will come more to light through later episodes, but keep watching and you'll find out. Okay. Uh, Max, what about you? Does... Um, a large poll. If you just, like, Get one, start moving I, out your window, wave it around, maybe you'll come into contact with me. I genuinely thought you were going down the path of they'll find you in a strip club. <laughs> Where can I find you? On a pole. The birdcage in Manchester. Make it rain. <laughs> um, on Facebook somewhere. So You don't you have to add him. He's, he's, I'm just putting him on the spot. He just didn't even know I was going to ask that sort of question. I kind uh, of implied a dungeon your smile. But uh, we've got our own I'm Facebook. Not <laughs> you're important. You're you're the perfect co-host, oh. Max. Perfect. Miles, you get there. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't really be too. Uh, every every time. Russell, we've had your, fallings out. I know. Miles <laughs> we've is hard falling. Miles down. is going. Miles is going to be uh, following my. Uh, my hostage. This is our guest star, Miles. Welcome to the show. Fuck you, Max. <laughs> so we well, actually, to the strip club, let we me to, let me just plug first. let me just plug something for a second, guys. And, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then we can talk about the, the pole dancing, okay? 
Let me just... We've got our own Facebook page. It's not on there. It's not, but it's three times faster. You'll be able to find it easy. Don't worry. Facebook is three times faster now. It is. I've talked to Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> about it, and he said, right, thanks for that little bit of code, Russell. Let me get that down to the bottom. I'm on the page now, and only one person likes that page. Is it you me? You can be first. It's me. <laughs> is that for me? It's me. I'm just going to, like, because obviously you support yes. your own work. I'm the first person who likes it, and I didn't even make the damn page. Russell. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I've thought it would be a bit conceited <laughs> if I liked it as well. How can you not like now. your own page? That's like not supporting yourself. Let's talk about support. Should we talk about Patreon? Yes. Should we talk about... That, that us? is my favourite EV evolution. Yes. Uh, oh, it is. It's an <laughs> EV evolution. What 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 uh, colour would it be? Green. Green? I thought it would be gold, but... No, okay. green for money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. We evolve it by pouring a lot of polka dollars on it. <laughs> so let's go to my uh, our Patreon. Which we obviously have pre-repaired. Pre-prepared. We have, yeah. It's still in progress. I, I think we need to rework on some of the uh, goals and stuff, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Let me I just... Like... Ooh. No, let me uh... <laughs> <laughs> let me delete no that. See that again. <laughs> no one wants to see that again. Uh, screen capture. Let me screen capture this bad boy. You'd make a terrible Batman. There's no pre preparation here. <laughs> <laughs> who, who would you really want to be Batman? Yeah, get us on a fancy fucking chair. I, actually, actually, who wouldn't want to be Batman? Let's be let's be honest. I, I want to be Batman. But, here we go. So, this this is so we can sell out immediately without, uh, without, without, being, called, <laughs> without, without being called sellouts in the future. We've, we all preemptively sell, sold out. But if you like our content, uh, you can pledge to us. Uh, here are some pledges. Uh, one of my favourite ones for Max is, uh, if you... Donate one dollar, Max gets a dairy milk chocolate bar, because he's boring like that. But you know, and if he gets, if he gets two dollars, not even a caramel, you know. What, I like... know, like you could. I didn't say it was boring. I I literally anything. I went, Max, any chocolate bar. I was like, dairy milk, please. I'm like, uh, that's really like the most basic of chocolate. Put me down have. for a caramel. <laughs> Ooh, we'll we'll talk about that. Uh, Max gets two uh, dairy milk bars though for two dollars. Uh, five is the uh, early access show. Uh, usually, we're going to probably transition this show to more live as it is now already, but actually broadcast. Um, Pre-production's hilarious. Mm. It, we have stories we have, to tell for that. We, well, what was it today? We had um, we had no camera. Yeah. Terrible microphone quality. Yeah. My microphone not working again. Yeah. And the only thing that works was my stuff. Except and even for, then we don't have sounds, so... Yeah. I mean, this this is just a complete shambles. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know why you're here. This, this, this <laughs> show. I don't know even why we're begging for money. See that egg, the X? Oh, there you go. Click, nope. click, click. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Stop saying some crazy stuff. We've got to get through this Patreon pledge. Uh, five... So we've gone through the five... Uh, the five dollars. Ten dollars. Uh, we're going to do like a, like a monthly pri uh, private show. Uh, we'll uh, do a big... Max uh, on his poll. This pole dancing is that is that going to be one of I've the I've been features? practicing quite hard. Um, I'm not no, going to no. pole yet. That's that's what you, this is what you're funding us for. I will get the pole, and that'll be your private stream for the month. Should we should we hold him to that? <laughs> should we hold him no. to this? No. <laughs> We're going to guys the pole. <laughs> uh, so we'll do like a, a monthly show. To hang out with everyone. You excited if you, about if you want Mike to. Miles? And <laughs> don't, don't whoa no, they want to. This is something they want. Uh, Twenty five dollars. Uh, so we're going to do something uh, really creative for this. Uh, every three months, there's going to be a new T-shirt design, but it's going to be a limited run uh, for that uh, quarter of the year. Uh, we've got artists lined up for those shirts already. Oh, we do. We do. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So. First we've heard. 
Well, just throwing out there at this point, this <laughs> podcast is Russell's idea. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to insult anyone. This is this podcast was Russell's idea, and he's asked me and Max to host it with him. So mm-hmm. this is a work in progress. Just throwing that out just, there uh, as kind of a disclaimer, kind of of how things are working behind the scenes. <laughs> I think it's fair. You, you need to know that. I didn't. Wow! Well, just just shoot me down. There. Just shoot me in the balls. I wasn't right shooting there. you down. I was just putting it into context of how things are going to work. Okay. I know, we, we want to improve ourselves. We know this, and we will. Don't you worry. But we need pledges. <laughs> <laughs> so the last, we let's need do your that. money to help us. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that helps me feel better is the green stuff in my hand. No, but uh, so we'll we'll probably be getting t-shirts to actually show you like later what t-shirts are going to be going. But that's in time. We've got designs to go out through. Uh, now the fifty dollar is. The the whole group hangout sort of thing. Uh, you get everything of the previous rewards. Uh, only twenty spaces for that, just because we might have to do do it in two lots, but no more than that because we are slightly busy people, and that that's a lot of uh, our time that we'll have to dedicate to that. Um, Hundred uh, pounds a month. Uh, pounds. That's... Sorry, dollars. I, I'm so English. I keep on seeing pounds. Uh, we're going to go through and play some video games once a week with uh, you guys. So, you pick. We've got quite extensive um, collections, both of us. Mostly, yeah, Miles. Miles and I will uh, be right on that. Miles especially. Because he's got, like, literally every single video game in the world, it seems. All the good ones, at least. Yeah. I like to try. Well... I Oddly enough, please. that 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 goes that, that's, with our that's, that's going, goals. Yeah, so ten dollars if we reach ten dollars a month, we might actually try because at the moment we are. It seems it feels like we're low ball on this, and we really are. We I think we need to increase every aspect of this show. Stop being so down on me, Miles. He's just like I'm not. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm like, trying to watch. I'm trying to look at your screen and, oh, and, just, sorry, and, sorry, and that's what I'm sorry, trying to do. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Being so basically, what I'm seeing here, as I see Faxes, I see Max full screen, but I'm seeing the podcast screen on Russell's. So I've got to look extra careful at <laughs> Russell's screen. Max knows what I'm on about. Why it's you, quite difficult. Why, why don't you go to w, uh, www.patreon.com forward slash three times faster and you'll be able to see that in your own web browser. Help me do this podcast. <laughs> Help me see things that I cannot see before. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought you'd you'd know to like go there. That that was the URL. Considering it's been like literally the whole show, and we've <laughs> we've had that URL. There. <laughs> but whatever. I thought I thought you'd pick up on the hint. Who are you even talking to right now? I'm talking to you! Oh! I thought you were talking to the people, like, telling them, you know where to go! Very demanding Begging person. 101. <laughs> Spot on right there, Russell. I'm talking to you! Oh! So I've got a pledge to help myself. <laughs> if you feel the need. And Max really wants a dairy milk, so... At least pledge that dollar. Miles, if you could, so Max can get that. Uh... I could buy myself a Caramac. <laughs> Caramac is better than a dairy milk. I did say it was boring. Yeah, it's it's, it's, just... it's literally down in the description. I mean, you can read it, right? <laughs> he's uh, he's boring like that. It's literally there. Um, Twenty dollars. We might try it a little bit harder as well. You know, three times harder. <laughs> 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 That's uh, a different podcast. <laughs> I host. <laughs> it's on porno. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just stop giggling to yourself. Um, fifty dollars. Uh, yeah, fifty dollars per month. Uh, teacher gave us gold star for trying because we we tried so much more. We're gonna get those gold stars. 
Go for gold. Go for gold. Uh, 100, we're going to get a, an RSS feed set up, so this could be on iTunes. Uh, and we're going to get some more tech. Needs a little bit of technical improvements, just about here and there and everywhere. Um, the best one, which I'm really hoping for, and I think Miles is going to really enjoy, uh, 300 pounds a month. We're going to do like a, a game stream, just one That's though. Pounds. That's dollars. Dollars. Um, I will actually just point one thing out, Russell, at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm clicking on the page on the Facebook one. The link doesn't actually link to the Patreon. Just to make you aware of that. You could have just said that after the show, but thank you for pointing. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get to the actual Patreon right now. Max, just send him the link. You're not on the link either. There's no one. It's no one I've doing this. It. It's no one doing this. <laughs> Who's working with me? None of us. We're all working against you. It feels like we knew it. this. You know me, Russell. <laughs> You're just sabotaging me, just being stabbed in the back constantly by you guys. I honestly don't know why he brought us on. I mean... Sabotage? What does that mean? Sabotage. Sabotage. You there yet? You there? No, I've stabbed him three times off the Patreon. Oh, this is hilarious. Because you're not going to find it, like... Well, not we have so much ease finding it. I'm sure you at home will too. Well, they've got the link and everything. There you go. There will be a link. There you go. Oh, I've been sent something. Oh, a link. That's with a number. Oh, Ooh, she's quite fit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Patreon link. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, that. right, okay. It was like, what are you referring to? <laughs> So you're happy now? Can you see what we're talking about? I can about? see now. Bloody hell. Oh. Quality okay, content. I'm not aware of this. Out of the three of us, I am the arsehole. Hand on heart. Wait, yeah, hand on heart, I'm, I'm, I'm an arsehole. The, 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 thing, the thing is, I thought I was the arsehole. No, you're no. not the arsehole, you're just the argumentative type. I will ah. form the head. Whoa! What? <laughs> so I'm I'm the one in the middle then. Yeah. Great. You 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 you're the body because you would like to work out so you have uh, to provide the body. You see. Okay. So six hundred when we uh, double the first, get six hundred. We're gonna get two game streams a month. Count with me too. You're gonna be happy. A sack for that, Miles. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Get my dirty wraps. Mm. Uh, so the thousand uh, dollar mark, we're gonna like sort of like a separate section. We're gonna have a like a live stream, sort of like Mystery Science Theater, where we're gonna watch bad movies, even good movies, just really lots of different stuff, maybe even series, and poke fun at it because I don't know about you guys, but I love that. Well. You can tell by some of our movie time, media time, some of the crazy things that are on there. Uh, and and here here are like our joke ones. Uh, Two thousand. What? what joke ones? Oh no no these are all real. Sorry these 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 are legit. Ones? Like even more skits are like twenty k, but we we promise that's to be that, funnier. That's two k. Two k even even better two k. We'll get there faster to get these more skits in. We'll get there three times faster, don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 100k, we'll, we'll, we're going to fuck off and make our own casino with blackjack and hookers. I, I, if you can make a casino with $100, then... No, 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 no. I'm surprised. 100k. 100k a month. I think we could. Oh, if you've been given 100,000 a month, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think that's possible. And for the one million mark, we're going to run for uh, Governor of California. Which I think is a sensible goal. <laughs> <laughs> but if, Ar if Arnie can do it... Personally, I would have run for a more backward, uh, backcountry state. You know, like I would personally have run for the Governor of Alaska. Because why else would you not want to make snow angels every day? But it's Down to your like own being warm. Yeah, like Alaska. Like... Yeah, but snowball fights every day, and you're the governor. 
Where's the bad you're side? You're the governor you're of the Wasteland. You're the governor of, of, a, of a just a cold tundra. You know they're paid to be there, right, after a certain amount of time? I can pay to be in California. Yeah, when, when we're governor, we're going to get paid for that, you know. <laughs> Alaska's better, though. But we know we can get into California, because Arnie got there. Yeah, true. So that's, like, that's the safety net. He got into a lot of other things as well, but, you know. Ooh. That's for another... <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you made this, yeah, made it this far, made it this through far, the you... whole arguments and everything, uh, I'm surprised, but you are you, a trooper. You have found the secret ending if you've got this far. <laughs> okay, there we oh, go. You just that. sneezed. Uh, well done. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're all signing out. See you now. Bye. See you later. Bye.